Welcome to Dwarven Forge Live. This is On the Anvil episode 44. Yes. Yes. Got it. I got that because I didn't I didn't quite get the uh, the dismount. Trying to run tech on these things never quite works. I got the I didn't realize the logo was attached. I don't know. Me we got, or she, told, she, she asked if we wanted the uh, the On the Anvil logo there and I was like, oh no, we can just do that ourselves. I, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't realize she was still leaving the Dwarven Forge Live logo there. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you now you know where we are. We've double branded Dwarven Forge Live. Welcome to Dwarven Forge Live. <laughs> so this is on the anvil. This is the show uh, which never goes off without any technical hitches. Uh, we take you behind the scenes here at Dwarven Forge and show you what we're working on, what we're thinking about, what our process is, and uh, mostly just hang out for a couple hours and share a beverage and talk about terrain and D and D and everything nerdy. Right? That's basically it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we actually talking yes, in your mic. Up on, what's up? Talking in your mic helps, huh? Yeah, they're they're saying I was kind of quiet, so I'm seeing if just moving my mic is enough, or uh, yeah, they're saying that's better. All right. Go figure. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. So. Um, <gasps> yeah, that's a good. Is that is that, is that coming through? <laughs> it's coming through. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, what were we talking about? Right, we just started the stream. Here we are. Hi. Hello. So today's episode is going to be uh, kind of an interesting one. It's one we talked about doing a couple times. Um, you know, when you get your Dwarvenite, uh, every now and then there's going to be some stuff that uh, that isn't quite uh, right with it, or maybe over time something happens, it warps a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of nifty little fixes you can do to repair those pieces at home. Uh, so this time, instead of Instead of Nate just drilling into perfectly fine pieces, I'm still gonna uh, do that. He's, <laughs> you're still gonna do that. Yeah. He's uh he's gonna show, uh, he's gonna just like kind of walk through all the little fixes that just take a couple minutes to do, uh, just in case there's some small thing you want to fix on your piece. So we're gonna do a bunch uh, of fixes, that, but also, but also, I, I'm up for modding some pieces too. Let's just cut some stuff up if uh, if people yeah, have if some we've questions. Got time, let's do some modding too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, modding is always really interesting. So, uh, so cue up your questions, really your fix-it questions, and hey, what can we do to these pieces questions, and we'll uh, uh, hold up. Nate, apparently, uh, what? starting off the news section with uh, apparently Hero Forge uh, may have copied your likeness for a new hair option. Ooh, I mean, new short this? mohawk in Hero Forge. This, this is news. This is news. Do we do we have any do we have photo evidence? I say, as the guy uh, running the stream, I don't know. Oh. This is hot off the presses. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I, uh, I'll i take a 5% residual on each uh, of those, each mini made. Oh. How to install magnets on some of the pieces like the sewers. Yeah, Commerce Steven made a really helpful guide for how to magnetize your sewers pieces that's in the Discord. Um, well, let's, uh, let's go to yeah. the news first, and then we'll... Uh, We'll look, put some magnets in some things. Oh, I have awesome. to do it. I'm yeah, waiting. you got to switch to the news thing. I can't do it today. Oh, uh, today. All right, here we go. Here. How's the yeah. sound effect coming? We're in the news. It's the news. We're in the news. It's nice of your cat to help out that time. Yeah. There. Oh, no, I can't get a double news. <laughs> I can't, I shouldn't be allowed to, oh wait, now I have to set you on fire, hold on, we'll do a little, it's gonna, wait, be, it's gonna be a running it's, gig. Alright. Gear, <laughs> you're on. Kind of weird inside jokes in this, uh. Right. Where, where is it? Alright, so, I can't wait to be back in the office. Ah, oh, fire, there's double news, where everything's on fire. Okay, we should have to give away, if I double news, we should have to give away two giveaways. My favorite thing, speaking of you back in the office, uh, so you can set things on fire. Be... Our favorite thing is in Wildlands. I was in the middle of updating people with like a bunch of questions about the pieces, and then we had to evacuate because you uh, <laughs> you got over ambitious with the fogger, and uh, so the, the fire alarms went off. And we had to go out into the street, and so I just I would counter I picture of the fire truck. I was like, sorry guys, it's gonna be a few minutes. And, uh... I would counter that the fire alarms are over ambitious. I was using a normal amount of fog, 
it was the fire alarms that were over ambitious. They were like, they, you know, they, they just, they have to like pump the brakes a little. They have to know who they're dealing with. They got to just like, you know. Maybe if you mod the, uh, the smoke alarm. I did. Smoke detector. Oh. You did. I'm allowed to. Go next time you're in the production room. Go uh, go look at the smoke detector. Take a take a look at that handiwork up there. <laughs> Which room? In the production room. There okay. may or may not be like a uh, something permanently like glued to the ceiling over it, <laughs> over our smoke okay. detector. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. That's the room where the fog machine gets used. That is also one of two places in our office where potentially a fire could break out. So. It's probably fine. Those smoke alarms are very ambitious. They're 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 over aggressive. So I'm not worried. If there's a real fire, they'll we'll know all about it. It'll it'll just it'll yeah. just ungag itself. And uh, it'll there's so fun. many in the anyway. So all what right. do we have in the news? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, don't forget. Uh, this is the we're in the last week of the uh, fundraiser we're running for uh, AAPI Women Lead, a fantastic organization that helps to uh, promote women who identify as Asian and Pacific Islander help them overcome uh, the various barriers uh, that are put in their way. Uh, it's a great organization. does a lot of uh, really, really good, positive, affirming groundwork, uh, which is nice. We um, need more good, positive... We need more good, positive, affirming groundwork in life. Like, that's just a good yeah. statement. Yeah. So how are we uh, at? We're... we're how actually, are we what at? Let me check. No, yeah, let me check what our total amount's at right now. Uh, so the the way it works is uh, every fifty dollars that you uh, that you donate gets you entered in a chance, uh, entered in a, in, a, in a legally not a raffle to uh, potentially get to uh, play a, a private game for you with you and your friends, uh, DM'd by Stefan Picorni. Two prizes. Uh, two prizes. That's one prize. What's the other yeah. prize? Uh, the other one is a fifteen hundred dollar gift card. Fifteen hundred dollars. Largest gift card we've ever done. If I hadn't known about it, I would have spit out my cider while you were saying that. Fifteen hundred dollars. Nine thousand two hundred dollars, which I think is more than we expected uh, to raise. Uh, we've got just over three days left on it. So Sunday, uh, Sunday at cost, noon. What's that? Sunday at noon, right? High noon. Sunday at noon. Yeah. So, if you want to uh, help a good cause and potentially uh, get to play a game with Stefan and Satine Phoenix, and potentially get to go on just a Dwarf and Forge shopping spree, um, you can go. Oh yeah, let me actually share the link. That would probably be helpful as well. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so don't miss out on your chance to support a cause and have a chance to win some cool prizes yeah. as we forge a better future. This is our second round, and who knows what our next one will be? We're trying to make a difference where we can. Yeah. Um, outside of that, then our Kickstarter of the week um, is uh, we're, so it's it's not somebody that we're friends with this time or somebody that we know. This is one uh, you found, is, right? Uh, I think it was Topulus on the Discord posted this a while ago. Um, it's uh, it's a one man mini project. Uh, it's called Kraken Ships. He's done one Kickstarter before, and this is a second one. Um, everything I'm seeing about the first one he did is that everything uh, went well. He did the production really well. Uh, I think he just, you know, the struggles of trying to do the marketing and everything of a Kickstarter by yourself is, it's a lot. Uh, yeah. Having run a Kickstarter with a small team before, uh, separated from the Dwarven Forge stuff, having done, like, small Kickstarters before, it's a lot to handle. No matter that, no matter what size your Kickstarter is, it's hard work. It's hard, like it's hard. It's a big, it's a full time job, and there's a lot of hats to wear. Yeah. But he's at he's at um, he's at like twelve k or something, and he needs twenty k, and he's got a week, right? Something like that. Yeah, he's at sixteen k. Sixteen. Oh, he's, he needs thirty nine. Oh, it's on way off. Yeah, so he's below. He's not even halfway funded his week and change to go. So he's got some neat miniatures. Just, what did you say? He makes the miniatures that he wishes he had on his table. That he he needs a some some sort of specific uh it's kind of cool uh, there's some neat stuff there's some cool models yeah what he, what he what he does is he um he when he realizes like when he realizes he needs a mini for something and it doesn't exist then he goes like okay cool i'm gonna make these then he's got yeah. he's got some very cool if you look at if you look at his site as well the stuff he's done in the past he's got some very cool uh, what he calls grimmel kinds which are um uh kind of beast folk so he's got like this he's got this like tiger monk 
that's like a really cool sculpt. A uh, couple other things. The prices are not bad at all. It's got um, centaurs. It's got like. Oh, it was Merc. It was Merc that posted it. Oh, thank you, Merc. Thank you, Merc. Yeah. So anyway, so if go check it out if it's interesting. There's some neat, uh, some cool. It's a lot of all non like non humans. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of really interesting stuff there. Prices are not bad. Sculpts yeah. that you can get, like some really cool elemental sculpts that are in there. Some cool uh, elephant folk sculpts. Some centaurs. A lot of really cool stuff in there. And he um, said he's a get he's a veteran, right? <clears throat> and he's a veteran, yes. So. Uh, so, if it's yeah. interesting to you, go support this guy. Let's see if we can get him funded. 20, 20K to go in, in a week. Or, right? 21, 24K to go. 23. There, I yeah. can't add. I don't know. Um, what other news? All right. Um, some of you were probably here yesterday. Actually, Scottish Jeff just uh, just subscribed. Thank you for the sub. And said, Woo! had a great time during the build the other day. That's right. Yesterday, we did our building of the build of the month, which means that yesterday is when this month's build of the month came out. Um, so far, we are kind of shocked by the response. Uh, we sold, a, we sold what we what we expected to sell like the the whole time it was running this month. Uh, we probably sold in the first couple hours. I think um, we sold nine castles or something total, right? Something like that. That was yesterday. I don't know what we're at. The last, the last I heard was seven, but that was like yeah. in the afternoon, so I don't know. Yeah, there were um, two more when we were on a call. I think it was at the end of the day, I was on a call with Jay, and he's like, oh, we did this one, and then Eric's like, oh, we just sold another one. <laughs> uh, we're at nine, I think. But it's amazing. For Mostly, though, it's exciting, because it's a, it's a fun, this video was really fun. We got to get Imy 202, get her voice in there, um, and uh, it's the first time we've offered painted and unpainted, regular and deluxe, like, all-in-one thing. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty great way to jump into castles, if you want to. So. Yeah. Um, that was a fun yeah. one to shoot, man. It was like, uh, I really enjoyed this. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, <laughs> it's by far the most expensive one we've done, but it's also because if you get it, like, you should be set on castles for a very long time. Unless you're rabbit, and then you Unless need more. Unless you're rabbit. Unless you need, like, a, a room-sized castle. Like, it kind of gives you everything. Speaking of rabbit burner, he did, he did, uh, he built the builds of the month and did alt builds. And release them uh, all over the place. So if you want to see some more builds before we actually even launch the build of the month, he's 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 running rabbit laps around us. Uh, so right. check out rabbit's alt builds, uh, which is is pretty cool. Oh, you know, and also the the building on the build of the month yesterday was a lot of fun. Like that one, I was really kind of. It, it's such a great example of how the community helps make the thing better, right? So we had a collection of sets, and somebody suggested. Um, do you remember who suggested the the Burroughs accessories? Like, was it just like the perfect? Uh, Paul is the one that suggested the Burroughs accessories. Uh, we we yeah, we brought those in because he suggested it. And then we had a couple people say things like, "Oh, you know, you could bring in the plants from Plaguestone, and you already had them set aside." That was the fun thing was when we got to it, and they're like, "Oh, it could really use this." It's like, well, it's a good thing that we also thought that and had it set aside. But I hadn't uh, thought of the those Burroughs accessories are perfect. And then we have Meta Elite is coming in as the uh, the voice of our new god, so it's like it's really fun. I'm I'm excited. It's fun to it's fun to get to have you guys uh, kick in so many cool ideas and be part of the creation process. Yeah, it's gonna be a very different uh, build than the castles one, but I think it's gonna be good. Cause yeah, we had no idea what it was gonna be going into it, and then it felt like it had a very strong identity by the end of the stream. Go. The challenge is um, we're gonna we're really low on stock. Two of the sets are low in stock for the unpainted version, so we might we might only have if we're trying to desperately to offer an unpainted version, we may only have like five unpainted to offer. But it'll be what it is. We'll do our best. Yeah, stock um, is the thing. Outside of that, I think the only other news is that uh, you're saying we have a pretty big Wildlands roundup to show. We do. We have a lot of Wildlands stuff. Excellent. Yeah. You know the other news? Both Chris and I got vaccinated today. First vax. Oh yeah, that. Woo! That's true. I can't. I can't lift this arm very high, uh, without it hurting. You reminded me of going to the. All right, yeah. I mean, I can do it. It just that's when I start feeling it, and I'm a baby. Okay. Um, just wanted it, to clarify. It, it, it genuinely just feels like. In the before times when I would go to the gym, uh, and when I would do like shoulder presses, is what it feels like. But. You know what I was excited about is it's it was like taking an active I feel like in the war on uh 
the war on COVID, this was like an active, an act of defiance. Like we're going at them, like attacking. Instead of like, it's been a year of working so hard to wear a mask and live in this basement and stay out of the office and limit contact with people and doing all this stuff of like denying, like just not doing, you know, just sort of like trying to trying to be super responsible and not doing stuff. And this was like, all right, I get to go out and do a thing. I get to get a shot in my arm and go like, go after it. So it was like, it was nice to go on the offensive, finally. Yeah. If, yeah, I felt like it taking an active step as opposed to just the waiting game that we've had for the last yeah. 13 months. And and being, you know, socially dist- being socially distant and wearing masks and being smart about washing your hands, all this stuff is active, but it doesn't feel like, this is like, I'm you know, doing, I don't know, it feels different even though it's all different. But anyway, let's look at some Wildland stuff. Before, yeah, so well, I can still lift my arm. <laughs> I haven't even seen this stuff yet, so I'm very excited. Yeah. We've got some, some new freezer trays. No, they're not. Yeah, people got pretty excited about the... Oh, it's... People got excited about the freezer trays last week, as I recall. <laughs> I bet they're, they're flying off the shelves. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dude, freezer That's trays. so funny. Like, yeah, you're, like, going through a whole <laughs> spiel on the new Kickstarter coming up, and everybody's like, hey, all right, yeah, enough about these elevation pieces. Let's Is talk that about the freezer, freezer tray. tray. What's, the, what's, that, what's that container? No. Yeah. Are you guys selling those freezer trays? No, but here's a question. Would people buy... Oh, wait. I should turn... I forgot. We're, we're, we're going to the other one. Would people buy... What is that? There we go. Would people buy Dwarven Forge storage trays if we did a uh, a thing? Like, we've got we've got a whole bunch of different storage things we dream of doing, but a simple, like, all, a kind of a nice wood version of something like this that you could use, say, in your, like, Alex Ikea drawers or your flat file cabinets or whatever to, like, sort some of your pieces. Would that be an interesting thing to folks? Uh, that... Commerce Steven says yes. Uh, Amy says depends on the price. Seraphis says maybe. Damaging says yes. I guess this is the thing. Is like, what would, what, what would we do that makes them... What uh, would we do that makes them the best option? Dimensions. Be? Dimensions. Dimensions? Dimensions. Some of like, you know, there's lots of light panels on the market, but the reason our DF light panels... Are specifically good is because they're the right dimensions to work with our stuff so it would be about the, the dimensions all right so let's look at some we got some hot new test shots hot off the uh the presses um man these presses are like wildlands is i'm exhausted already i'm like we're it's just every like there's just there's a lot of there's been a lot of challenges in wildlands we're we're trying to make this stuff amazing and it turns out we have a lot of pieces that have a lot of unique Bits them, but we have a bunch of pieces that are ready to rock. Um, speaking of rock, we have this is the one inch, um, the the controversial one inch escarpment piece. <laughs> People were upset that we didn't, I don't know, we didn't have just like a bucket of these as a thing because they thought they would always need them. But I don't know. We will see. We'll see if there are, if there's an outrage once people get their stuff. They're like, why do I not have more one by threes? But that's the one by three escarpment. People are freaking out because you shut off the one by three. Because it's awesome. Because it's the coveted, uh, the rare one by three. The one by three became uh, something of a taboo topic on the Discord. Yeah, no, it was the one by three is 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 the most controversial of all the escarpments. Followed by the the Heidi Hole or the waterfall. I don't know. The Heidi Hole was also very controversial. I yeah, say. that was really for different, uh, for different reasons, but. So yeah. the, this is where the the uh, anchor magnets will be. It's one of the front and the back, so you can put it put them on stilts. Doop, because I do love my stilts. Um, here is the uh, the three inch, the short straight. I think we called it. Oh, the crispy tail. Wait, let's get in. Let's get in tight. Ooh. Enhance. Oh, the waterfall cutout escarpment. That's a good. That's a good point too. The cutout yeah, escarpment that was also. The... Man, man, so much controversy. I can't wait to see what the controversy on on cities is going to be. Um, also, Bro, I don't even. The unfinished side is on the bottom. Hooray! Yes. Yes. With all the escarpments. So the the you know the reason that the so we couldn't do these. The reason the unfinished side. This is a good. You know, the reason on the Aaron Thor pieces 
that the unfinished side is not on the bottom is so that we could we could flip them and give you more organic options or in this case the swell this one lets you swell this way this one lets you swell this way so the dead the dead sides this way versus in the back same with like this guy we could give you more organ organicity is that even a word well it is now uh right if you just give you more you more, you more organs more organs no it's just because particularly if you're gonna have like four of these in a row or a thing you want to be able to switch how they look you're not the same thing just cloned over and over again so the dead sides here versus down there so you've got two usable tops which apparently drives some people crazy about the the Aaron Thor pieces but it was a I can uh, see how it would cause problems if you're trying to build a certain way but the fact yeah. that it basically makes it two sculpts is pretty nice we're trying to make it as organic as possible uh we'll talk about these yeah. maybe not right not this show maybe next week we'll talk about the um the holes and what there's a whole 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 thing <laughs> A whole thing about the holes, but we'll get there. Um, we'll talk about that. Uh, let's see. We've got. Oh, speaking of holes, here's a. It's not, this is a stand for drift stones. But like, do you see how beefy it is compared to the old? Uh, I haven't. I'm gonna do a break test. I haven't actually tried to break this one yet. Well, there you. Um, but the the yeah, ones. The original the the ones for the original drift stones were a problem, right? Garbage. <clears throat> You all right? Yeah. That's hilarious. We haven't even gotten to the part I, where you start using tools yet. I wanted to demonstrate how breakable they were, and I broke it taking out of the thing. <laughs> it's a oh. case in point. These are the, the previous uh, incarnations. They break easily, as witnessed by me just breaking one, trying to get the thing out of the drawer. Uh, yeah, those they were really... I'm very disappointed by how brittle the ones from Cavern Steep were. Uh, they did not work out. So we've we've gone from these were eighth inch diameter to quarter inch diameter. So these things are just dynamite. And I'm going to be hard pressed. I, I can't wait to. I'm going to try. I'm going to see what what the breaking threshold on these things are. I'm, try and I'm break sure one. you're going to I'm sure you're going to be able to break it. The point is that you're going to have to try to break it as opposed yeah. to doing it on accident. Yeah. Exactly. Should hopefully won't be an accidental. Thing. Uh, here we are. We ready for some big the big boys. Mod the old drift stone for the new stand. Get the drill out. <laughs> Don't challenge me. <laughs> we can. Uh, I, I'm. I'm so gonna do that. Can we mod the old floaty stones to take the beefier base? We're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna try it. Oh, Let's cool. It. Yeah. No, right. I'm in. I'm in. I, who's whoever idea that was? I'm in. Who challenged uh, I think me? A couple people were asking about it. That specific question was Seraphis. All right, Seraphis. <laughs> you are no longer bland. You are. Everybody's just shouting at you to do it. Everybody wants you to pull out a drill now. We're gonna we get we wait till the, we get to that segment. We're in the <laughs> island segment. <laughs> I, I fire it up. You know, let's you not. How big these pieces are. Just, let's disregard the fact that my I have a blue dragon on my drill bit, but we'll get. Um. So I got I got used to the size of these pieces during Wildlands, but then si since we've been using like exclusively non Wildlands pieces since to see them again, it's, it's like oh yeah, these are these are big. Yeah, they're big. Like, I guess I used to all the other it's ones. Like, yeah, they're and they're they're hefty. They feel uh, they feel great. So we got this, this wild. Wow, we have that this wild. Good notification. Yeah, I don't know what I got notified about, but they're off. So we have, we have spots for. You know, I should actually test this. We have spots for the um, the anchor mangots, which also can theoretically hold it all up in stilts. That's the idea. Is it, we can, you can stilt this whole thing up if you want. Though generally, what would happen is the front would be on something, so the front would be, I'm just going to approximate it, the front would be like this, and then the stilts would just be in those back uh, bits to hold it up. But we shall see how it all works. So that was, that should work. Can we, can we get a little rabbit head to stick out of the horizontal hole? Just <laughs> a tiny, just like a tiny, <laughs> tiny rabbit's yeah. head pole accessory, basically. I love that. We should make a one-off just for Rabbit himself. Uh, yes, look at this. Just, just a Rabbit Kickstarter. Wow. All the Rabbit you, pieces we can think of. And then this guy, the, the other, the outside uh, large curve escarpment. These things are just, whew, they're so they're so satisfying to hold. And they, uh, they got all the detail is, it holds up. Yeah, even well. without the paint, like just seeing 
all the different lines for the crags and everything. It really looks like they're keeping all the detail. Yeah. No, it's 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 strange how they feel more real somehow when they're factory finished for the night. But they do, and they're glorious. Let me make sure that's still okay. You can use these as a weapon. Yes. Ask Lucas about that. <laughs> Yeah, right, so we got these. Oh, and we have. Speaking of fly sands. Got the. Uh, oh, nice! I gotta go wider for her. The Crimson Claw Wyvern. Oh, look at those spines. Yeah, right? Fine spine. Oh, man. So this, so what's neat, we're, you know what we're adjusting is the balance on, the flight stand is too far back, right? It's, it's, it should have been here. So the center of, center of gravity is just too far forward. So we will, we will adjust this. Um, but what's, of that, it looks great. yeah, oh, the, the, the detail is, is, is outrageous. Like it's a really, they did a great job. Indestructible, like you can. <laughs> <laughs> Bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Yeah, no, you can... That actually, that actually is eerily similar to what happened in the Wildlands game. Yeah. Sure, they, they really... They, they, she took a beating in that game. That was she awesome. Really that was a really fun... Um, that was a really fun... Jim Davis playing the Dwarven Champion Monster Hunter. Uh, All wielding grappling hooks. Just ditched his weapons. And then... He, so he like in the game he's like this this he's just a dwarf champion with a bucket of hit points and he's a monster hunter is his like his shtick and he sees this wyvern he like ditches his weapons throws it gets two grappling hooks catches the things riding around manages to crash land it and then doesn't even bother to get his weapons he's just he's in his primary he just grabs a rock and like bludgeons it to death with a rock it's just not even like he's just like went full-on primal it was amazing it was just like so fully in character it was gorgon rex was his name he was like yeah. i love that character um what i was going to show you was uh, that was a fun moment that was really uh theme uh the stand you may uh notice it has there's some there's some chicanery on the bottom here uh so this is future proofing for our one day flight stands um don't know oh. when exactly we're going to make them but this is it's this is our dwarven forge flight stand compatible even though they don't exist we made her base compatible with the flight stand so that you can you can it like these little pegs will lock will lock into the flight stand so you can do a cool flying flight stand thing at some point so future trying to future proof that's some toby some toby madness out there and here's another thing that i'm i'm gonna flag we're not changing it but i'll tell you now it is the base is 54 millimeters in diameter 56 what are we at um it's slightly oversized oh 57 i'm okay. uh, yeah 57 um it's slightly oversized right so we're oh can you see it Get the caliper in there that's upside down it looks like 65 but it's it's 50 oh wait that does say 56. That's, uh, what is going on? Who's on first? Oh, it, it D. Well, anyway, take my word for it. No, it's not good. Yeah, all right. It's 57. We'll call it 57. I don't know. Anyway, it's, yeah, it's 57 millimeters. Who can guess why it's 57 millimeters in diameter? <sighs> Well, we got a smart bunch of cookies here. It makes it perfectly fill four squares. No, that would be fifty millimeter or fifty point eight or fifty point. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was told there'd be no math. Scale There's, date. Uh, no, no, no. But that's that is a wonderful guess. Thanks for trolling. Well, <laughs> giant size, fifty millimeter base plus three point five millimeter rim. Yes, essentially. Yes. So uh, we can. So we have a. a so Toby designed a system of of combat risers, like flying flight stands, that um, so if you take a fifty millimeter circular base, there's a rim around the top of the large ones, so your base will like sit in. It's like a you know three millimeter depression or something, so the base sits in, so your mini won't slide off the top of the flight stand. So the 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 size of the uh, is slightly larger. Similarly, the 
the 25 millimeter ones are like 32 millimeter so they have a depression for a, a 25 millimeter circle but they could also take 32 millimeter like warhammer size bases too it's some some clever uh some clever toby geometry nice yeah uh so then but wait there's more there's more Unless anybody has any major questions about those. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Right, I'm going to leave this drift stone out to remind me that I'm going to drill a hole in it A lot of people are later. saying they want us to do the plane of air and water now. <sighs> after, after cities, we should have floating islands and castles where the wind dukes of Baca. I'm, I'm so all in. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're... We got... We... Uh, I think we'll... Not at, not this one and not, not the one after. But maybe the one after that. What's going on upstairs? Can anybody hear this like drumming? Like before, I was. I, know, I can. I can hear it, but I'm not sure if that's just because I'm not on the yeah. mic that you're actually using for the stream. I don't know the what it is. It's on awesome. The stream does not pick up stuff from very far away. It's good because it's bedlam up there. It's always. Oh, they it's, can hear it. Never mind. They can yeah. hear it. The best part. I mean, there's so many good parts about my kids. One of them is just that they're fully feral. Like I went up earlier to get I don't know get a glass of water. It was like one in the afternoon, and they're just buck naked running around the house like lunatics uh just middle of the day like standard mid midday shenanigans because uh, it was a uh it was a covid testing day at school so they everybody got tested and was home so nobody like there was no actual school they just had like homework oh look at those banks uh so this is we have some paint samples let me let's get closer or maybe we'll stay far i don't know you tell me um we I think we're definitely gonna to want to get closer. All right. We want to see all that detail. So these are our first paint samples of the banks, and they look just phenomenal. And this is this is why we this is why we had to simplify the paint scheme is so that we could get some a level of consistency, like this. So instead of 19 steps, it's only 12 steps or whatever. Um, right there. This is uh, it's it's I'm I'm super excited. Uh, and because they're, they're they're really consistent across the board, it's the problem. The challenge we were having with the original dried hollow paint scheme is lack of consistency, where pieces were not matching with each other or matching with other batches or whatnot. So, but these are all uh, they're all matching super nice. Wait, did I show which one did I show? I show this one. Because dwarvenite dwarvenite piece doesn't have its, its uh, anchor magnet in it yet, but. Piece. Old banks have red berries, new banks have blue flowers. Yeah, so the the accents in the swamp pieces are purple, yes. and the accents in the forest pieces are red, basically. These are facts. Very old. Uh... Yeah. Most of most of the you know all the all the foliage and grass and stuff is the same color, but we just wanted to help differentiate them by having them have different accents. These are the forest. Oop. Oh, I can look over here. You can also, if you're painting them, or if you want to like mod them i think hitting just like those small flowers and stuff would be a pretty easy thing to uh so here's a nice example of swamp versus yeah. forest nice swamp is good Oop. there's something that mass production is just as good so yeah they've been they've been pretty good about staying consistent on the new dread hollow so they should be able to handle this pretty well that's that's what they say that's what we're yeah. banking on. Banking. That was the point of. Uh, that was the point of doing it this way. Yeah. Look at that. Is large. that the old paint scheme, the forest one? No, this is all new. No, uh, that forest one was an old. Let me see oh, if I have a new you, one. Did yeah. you pull out a piece that I wasn't expecting? The old, uh, the forest that I was showing. I don't know. I don't oh, know. I, I thought you were only showing the wildland yeah. stuff. Sorry. No, here we go. Let me have it. This is the revised. Here's a revised, f revised paint scheme forest. Oh, this is a great example. Wow, ha oh, ha ha, this is exciting. So revised paint scheme forest uh, on this side and um, uh, factory sample swamp on this side. So these are a wonderful match. Awesome. Look at that. Yeah, they look pretty close. Uh, any waterfall casting color updates? I don't think they've gotten to doing those yet. Not yet. But 
We will. <laughs> Once we have one, we'll have, we'll give it to you. Look at this guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, you know what? Have we seen the Wyber stone or climber stuff yet, or the LED no. stuff? No. No. We just had the we had that one LED, the basilisk. Is here. I can show them again later. Um, yeah, we did have the basilisk. Should we get three three about four. half the minis done then? Two, six, fifth, six, fifth. What do we have? A basilisk, a dragon, a wyvern, a pair of were tigers. Right? Did I miss anything? Yeah, we're sorry. We have two white lily. Two white lily and well, a I dragon. Well, then I guess we count the fire That's oh, that's another thing. Oh yeah. Right, and let's look at the effect on the three by three floor pond. Yeah. And let's put this is up. This is a, with the, once again. This is the forest revised forest. This was like straight from a pack from the factory. It's our paint sample. Nice match. Woo! We should that guy. Straight bank. Man, these pieces are awesome. I am so excited to get these. <laughs> In 2024, whenever this. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not going to take that long. No. It looks like the base terrain is going really well, at least. Yeah, you know, it's anything that doesn't have a teardrop insert or a boat. Um, so How many far. pieces have boats in them? Uh, <laughs> All the boats. <laughs> it was, yeah. you know, blame Topulus. I mean, Is that straight bank the one you sent to the factory or the one you got back from the factory? No, these are all, all these, these are, are samples these from, are from the factory. factory. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is all stuff that we got from the factory. Oh, and we moved, we should note that we moved the, here was the example. Uh, oh, did I show this? I show this one. So we moved, no, that's a bad example. We moved nothing. Where did <laughs> Where did the, uh, we moved the, oh, here's the, we moved the magnets further in from the edges so they would sit on the, um, on the terrain trays, right? So previously the magnets were further out and if the terrain tray, if you're metal, if you're right going all the way to the edge of the terrain tray, it would, the magnet would try and pull the thing in a couple of millimeters. So we moved the, we moved the magnets further in so that they would sit better on the terrain trays. Do these have, uh, yeah. The yellow at the very edges is looking a little bright. Is that my eye, or is it because we have the gray cutting mat in the background? I think the um, ISO on the camera is also a little high. So uh, that's I think probably it's, a bit. I think it's right. It looks fantastic in person. Okay. Um, but bright is saturated. That's what he's saying. Yeah. It looks. It looks just like our prototypes, and it looks awesome on the table. Like. Um, yeah, I think also we've got the light is warm. So it's popping the yellow across the boards a little bit. But it looks particularly good when you have it on. Um, it's supposed to be algae. These like bits when you have it on a uh, any sort of water mat, or whatever. It looks really cool. Yeah, that's like the main difference between the swamp banks and the forest banks. Is algae. The swamp banks are supposed to look really wet at the end. Algae and purple stuff. Yeah. Can we throw these on a tray to see. Oh, like on a terrain tray. Oh, hey! If only I had some terrain trays. If only you had a massive wooden container of them. Who was the person who found that? They, they was genius. Ah, uh, man, that was so long ago. I genuinely don't know. It's been life changing. Are they sitting flat? Yeah, they were all sitting flat. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot remember who. That that was a very long time ago. Hmm. Wait, show off this terrain tray storage box. <laughs> Now people are curious on how you're storing your trays. It's a uh, scrapbooking, a wooden like, wooden scrapbooking thing. Which uh, which water do you want to see it on? Cave water or this water? I don't I don't know where the uh, texture. If you have something is. swampy. I mean, that seems like it'd be the best. But and then we can go. I'll I'll pop the camera off and we can go wander. Uh, we can go look at the tray. The uh, tray. That, this was a thing on one of the streams. I was like, "There's got to be a better way to store store train trays." And uh, one of our intrepid viewers pop that one. Yeah, 
it, maybe it would stand out more on the blue one, but this is still, this is more likely to what you'll be using it for. Mm -hmm. And I can do also put a, uh, love these currents. Uh, people want to see it with the original Dread Hollow Banks. I'm not sure if they mean like the original paint or just like style, the new paint of the, you know, Dread Hollow set. Oh yeah, that water overlay. Yeah. Not to confuse with the textured water overlay, which I hope I don't have here because I don't know where it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they wanted to see the if you have the original paint, they wanted to see it. But yes, if you don't, you I don't. have I have original paint. I have everything. Awesome. I am the Lizard King. Uh, I'm here for fun. Let's just flip this over. Is that water overlay something we can buy? Yes, I think. I mean, we've sold them. I don't know if we have any more in stock, but yes, we made these texture. There's a straight one and a curved one, um, and they add uh, they add some momentum to your water and some shine. Yeah, they're really cool. I don't know. Look in the look in the store in, in under. Uh, oh, we don't have the filters live yet. We have. They're in the overlays. Uh, Train trays and overlays. I think they're in the train trays section. If we have them, they're, they're, they would be there. If only we had the new filter system active. Oh, so close. We're so close. <laughs> yeah, it looks easier in water. All right, let's mix it with the uh, an old bank. Yeah, they want to see the original paint scheme to see how it how it works. The problem is that when it comes to the old banks, it varies. Yeah based on what your banks came out like. That is a fact. Let me put this one in. What's the filter system joke? We're going to have a filter system in a shop of you that's coming through that's going to make it way easier to navigate the store. It should be here very soon. We're like on the cusp of launching this update. Uh, it's going to make finding things in the store like much, much easier. And it lets you kind of use filters to exclude and include like sets that you're looking at, basically. Yeah, it's awesome. We, sh we had a couple of people poke some holes in it, like Zach Hagen and rabbit burner and i don't remember who else second against anime sensei and uh they found some holes turns out we had a uh, we had some holes in the armor so we're we're cleaning it up uh but apparently the water overlays are in stock a big pack for 30 bucks yeah i love the water overlays in fact i need more <laughs> so that's a this is the old Old paint scheme, forest banks, new swamp. Let's put another, uh, let me see what else I have. It doesn't look like it's a terrible match. No, it's not bad at, at least all. not with that, uh, not with that specific one. Sounds awesome. When older people try and get me gifts from the website, they get confused very easily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, our store has been a problem for a while. And I'm very happy that we're that we're fixing it. Can they back up and define older people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need snow and ice overlays and terrain trays. We actually do have some ice terrain trays. We have. Uh, yeah, we have any that are snow. We have some ice overlays. Some cracked. Yeah, uh, don't we have like we have some, some that like make it look like cracks in the ice and stuff? There's yeah, well. I've used those to yeah. effect. So old, uh, old bank, new, new floor. Cool. And of course, the thing is, the mileage your mileage is going to vary just because. The oh wow, that was weird. New, yeah, something I hit hit the cord and it went crazy. Oh. New old. Oh, here's an old uh, this guy. Is that different than the ice terrain tray? Yeah, so we've got ice terrain trays, but we also have uh, like transparent uh, overlays that put like like a like if you want to have like a crack and like a hole in the ice, 
uh, or something that like somebody's fallen through and stuff like that, we've got those kind of effect overlays as well for ice. These things here. Uh... We used them in one of the first games we did when it was an all staff Crack. game. Cracks of ice. Yeah. Smaller cray. Got a patch of quicksand. Necrotic sludge. Whirlpool. Yeah, I, I, I fix the overhead camera shot. I kind of miss that angle. It's not set up. Oh, well, actually, yeah. I, Let's see. Yeah, so it's so I've moved. So the overhead camera is now is this camera that, or yeah, technically, and then that that camera is now this one. And I, I there's got to be a somebody sent me a there's got to be a better webcam. Uh, Cause these check this out. I'll give you the. Yeah, you see that? Like that's the. I put it on this moving arm so I can move stuff around, but it's, it's pretty crummy. Like the, I, I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, compared to the DSLR, it's not. It's just a, like, everything is. It's uh, a very, it's a very different kind of, uh, of camera. Yeah, it's not so not so good. Um, so anyway, so and the up high. I mean, I could give you a fake overhead right now if you want. I don't think there's that. Whoa. Let's see, can we do more Wildlands builds sometime? Probably. Yeah. Especially once, like when we get all the Wildlands stuff in, we're definitely going to do some builds of like all the factory Wildlands stuff when it gets in for sure. Um, like we can kind of make small builds right now with the Why shots we got back. Like want to take... the twelve by twelve with banks is not hard, but. Yeah, I need. We have, like, I need a better web. Right. I need a better webcam. I don't know, like, Chris, help me out. What do we? What do I need that will get like? That can actually be in focus and see stuff, right? Because this is just. Um, we could probably get away with using a GoPro. Uh, Ooh. If you could theoretically, if you could control the. Are you using a Logitech? Yeah, this is the... I think for Max, I think you can get a... You can get an app that lets you get, like, actual control over the Logitech's, but like... Even, but even uh, the, like... Sensor and focus and white balance and stuff. But even, it's just, like, the, the lens is not so good. Like, it's just not... You know what I mean? Like, it's not... Uh, yeah. It's a bigger thing than the, the settings. It's, like, uh... I don't you can know. also try to use your phone as a as a camera. Um, oh. Run that in as a video source. Yeah, that's not I know good. you can do it on PCs. I'm not sure if it's yeah. compatible with no, Macs. No, it's, it's OBS will take it. But this is just so low. It's just yeah, crummerly. Um, we can just do these presentations in purple board. Uh, yeah, my God, I've got the purple arm up. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, what was I just gonna tell somebody about the? What they asking about before the? Oh, I'll do once once we get some some samples. I'll I'll uh, when we get like the boxed encounters or whatever. I'll do some. Uh, I'll do unboxing and build. We'll just we'll go we'll go nuts. I can't yeah. wait. I'm I'm so excited to get. I want to see I want to see their take on the Myrmidon really bad. Why they take their casting? Yeah, I want to see their test paint as well. Um, I also do really want to see the waterfalls. Oh, I do all of it. Like it just looks so good when yeah. it. Uh, see we haven't gotten it. the next back, have we? No. Yeah. So. All right. Um. All right. So that's all the paint. Oh, we don't know. Ha! Let me go back to it. So now, so you've seen this. Now let's look at. Back to the DSLR. Like, come on, you can't. Tell me now. That's a camera. All right. That's an oif. How many banks are being shown? Is there enough to do a swamp banks mega only to help visualize? I think we I only got, have like one of each piece. I've got right? one of each piece. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they only they only send us one to make sure they're getting it right. That step stair or uh stair cliff. Was this a controversial escarpment? This winding stairs. Which one? 
The winding stairs. Yeah. I think people just love the stairs, honestly. Yeah, it's a fun. Put your, uh, put your guy then. I don't think I've heard anybody have problems with the stairs. These banks definitely look chunkier than the forest banks. Absolutely. They are a thousand percent chunkier. Here's a. Uh, here. Forest. Swamp. Wait, this I gotta go wider. We gotta get like there. Yeah. More chunky in every direction. All right. Uh, so that's all we got for paint samples. I think. Is there any any other questions? Oh, did I show this? Did I show the? Uh, yeah. This does look. I'm, this is like yellow on extra extra yellow on camera. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, why that's that's always the tricky thing. Is the difference between the human eye and like a camera sensor? Yeah. Uh, I'm converting so many pieces over for a rhyme of the frost painting campaign starting in a couple years. My wife is going to be confused <laughs> when my wildland shows up. Can I ask for covert shipping? <laughs> you know, a lot of people do. <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised well, at how you many. Should, you should get an alert when it's coming and just make sure she's out of the house when it arrives, you know? How? How do you make sure she's out of the house? I don't know. I'll give her something to do. What? What is this? But, you know, we've had, we've had a lot of interesting shipping requests of, like, you know, can you send. A third of my order to my in-laws. Can you send a third of my order to my office and a third of the order to my house? Can you, like... Oops, these are right. That's really, really complicated. Yeah, no, there's some... There's, we've had some very complex requests. Um, Can you... <laughs> did you get a sample of the other stairs? I don't think so. No, this is this is everything we've got right now. Those other stairs required were un uncastable. But they required a lot of cleanup, so they'll be in the later... Uh, uh, yeah, so we've shown everything. Did I switch back? Is that Stefan's oh, yeah. or the original? A ridge. Yeah. The the one Stefan did goes the other direction. So this is, he really wanted to be able to then go this direction. Up. It's the other Are there any one by one swamp banks that aren't corners? No. But, you know, uh, see how you can mod one if you want. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if this will. Just take out the chainsaw. Mm hmm. Do you have a chainsaw? No, but it's probably good that I don't. Yeah. Uh, I was I've, just trying. I'm, just, I'm like, he would, he would get those for hedges, probably. Yeah. If hedges, I, you would get a chainsaw. I've, I've used chainsaws. My dad uses a chainsaw on a regular basis. Maybe where it all came from. Yeah. So we don't have any trees. We don't have wyvern stone yet. Yeah. Uh, this is all we have in terms of painted. Um, we have some unpainted stuff that we showed. Last we got some week. people asking about that spore claw in the back. Oh yeah, let's look at that. Um, so that that's a that's trickery. How how are how are the smoke channels doing on that? Well, that's why I have it here. He probably used the chainsaw to paint his minis somehow. <laughs> you know, uh, you could yeah, you put your arm your you like your whole like war band on each teeth, and you just like it's like a little conveyor belt. They around uh, no. we have okay let me put these I'm gonna get these freezer trays out of here so this was so we were having some having some challenges with the fog and the spore claw um, so this is so Toby did a little magic so this is a um, a sort of a low res 3D scan of the spore claw and a low res print. So there's some, there's some weird, there's some, some janky bits on it. Um, but it, it was so that Toby could create some inner, I don't know if you can even see all the, the inner workings. Uh, where's this thing? There's like a little dangly thing in there, which trying to, which tries to take the, uh, See that little hanging bit in the center? It uh, it's a curvy thing that so the condensation won't drip straight back onto the plate because the the if water goes right back onto the plate, it stops the fogger. So anyway, let's turn this thing on and see what happens. Uh, so this is our sort of our testing out the. Oh wait, I oh I've been running my dehumidifier this whole time. A lot of probably white noise. 
Yeah, so to reiterate, this is not a, a casting from the factory. This is just a quick print while we work out the innards. Well, not just a quick print. It's a quick – we scanned the – it's an analog sculpt. So it's a scanned yeah. analog sculpt turned 3D um, so that Toby could work on some inner channels and whatever. So this is what we have. Um, so it works. It's fog is coming out. That was the – we were having we having a devil of a time to get fog come out um and then depending on how that yeah, looks really good um yeah, depending on actually it's coming out like really strong too during the yeah. kickstarter like it just kind of gently rolled out and was like kind of misty this actually it looks like it's ejecting smoke yeah and then depending on how you move them like you can some of the like this hole stopped and this now it's going again matter there's, there's some complex fluid dynamics in there that are beyond my pay grade but but it's gonna work is that the moral of the story <laughs> um yeah but i'm not I'm a physicist like my brother um Your brother's a physicist uh yeah he specializes he's a theoretical physicist specializing in mesoscopic physics he quit huh. he quit astrophysics because there wasn't enough room to um to be a pioneer and is he's a theoretical physicist yes well i hope he gets to be one someday yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> in theory, it's a good idea. Uh, so, I, just, I just love that phrase. Um, yeah. yeah, he's a he's a smart cookie. Let me tell you. Um. Also, a bit of a rules lawyer in D and D. Who would have guessed? Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, and this thing we've redesigned. Um. Yeah, he's a, he's the guy you always want on your LARP team or your your RPG team or whoever, because he'll like, he'll take the system and figure out, he'll be like, well, here's the weak spot in this, this rule system. Here's, here's the exploit of, uh, yeah. We, Is that plant smoking Marlboro or Newports? Remember Marlboro Miles? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's smoking pure, uh, spore claw sticks. I don't know. It's pure dwarvenite, pure distilled water. That's the key is distilled water in the, uh, in the fog machine, but we have, we, I can't wait to show the redesigned fog machine. So we've, we've basically, we've redesigned the top of the fogger to all be a funnel that feeds back down. This hole is now depressed and it sees this, this condensation that's gathering here. All of this then funnels back in and recycles on itself. So it, it's like a little rainforest. Just like that. We should make that all, that all, uh, that all, you just put a little bit of water in and then it just can like be a fountain infinitely. You know, you, we're, at this rate, we're going to end up making a fountain, huh? All right, fine. This is my, this is, this is my modular boat, yeah. Yeah. You're the topulous of fountains? Yeah. yeah. We can All right. make it fondue as well. Ooh. Like chocolate. Ed uh, edible dwarvenite. Dwarven fudge. Dwarven fudge. All right, so let's uh, let's cut. I mean, let's fix some stuff. Right, unless there's any other wildlands questions. Um, let's see. Uh, yep, there's a couple. Yeah. Pure DI water, just like a smart water bottle, just water, just tap water. No, we, no, 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 no. Distilled water is the new secret sauce. We've had. Oh, does distilled water actually work better? Doctor Sacco. Yeah, we. Um, huh. Yeah, turns out science gave us the way. Uh, we don't want you want to use distilled water. Um, the whole th the thing functions more smoothly and longer, and there's less buildup. I guess you get end up getting like weird mineral buildup and regular. And I don't know, distilled water. We're gonna have a whole instruction sense. manual, but yeah. I mean, obviously, it works fine on tap water, but it works better with distilled water. The fog slash moisture doesn't affect the painter pieces, correct? Uh, no, but it may affect your table. But yes, no, it does not affect the pieces. I have drenched many a piece for many an hour. Scented fog? Yeah, just drop, just drop like, just use rose water and. Uh... <laughs> holy water, I recommend. Just holy water. <laughs> Distilled holy water, though. You don't want like you know, you want weird, you know, saint m minerals in there. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I hope you can show how to level out a piece that is totally messed up for me. The Jade Temple pieces. Please send help. Well, that's what we'll be going into. Oh. So, 
we're gonna talk about so here's the okay so the first part of this segment is explaining that you know these uh, these pieces, sometimes your pieces will arrive uh, um, a little a little warped. Sometimes if you store it, like this is, this is I pulled this one out as an example. It's an unpainted Aranthor floor. And I don't know if you can see how, how warped it is, but it's, uh, right, it was sitting like, I don't know, sitting in a bin with some other stuff under it, and it's like, it's kind of warped. And this stuff will happen depending on how you store your stuff sometimes this stuff this happens uh sometimes the pieces will arrive from the factory like this or whatever like it's it's an it's an unfortunate and reality of uh a dwarvenite is over time particularly if you like you leave your stuff in a hot car or whatever and then it can really like sort of melt or you know warp it won't melt it will uh it can droop pretty if you depending on how you store it if part of these some of these pieces if you don't store them flat they can they tend to warp so we're gonna we'll look at how to fix that what was the question about it was a forsaken temple which piece uh, of... jade yeah it was one of the jade uh let's see what the specific piece was uh the jade temple pieces yeah so i guess just the all jade of temple them? pieces in general all of them Did, let them know, is, is there a specific one but so let's start with this so i i actually forgot to get a, jade temple corner piece they said Mm, the front is 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 collapsed up. I think. Yeah. Hold on. I'll, okay. Let me get this hot water. I forgot to. Uh... Oh, we should do the giveaway. What giveaway word should we have? I'll run that while he's while he's out. I'll get that started. Uh, what should be the word today? Distilled or something? I don't know. Warped. Or to be a pretty good word. All right, let me set that up. Don't put it in yet. Because uh, i got to get it set up. Um, Cool. The word is warped. If you type it in, you'll be eligible uh, to win. Uh, it's internationally. I... Anybody can win a $50 gift card for a store. Uh, if you're in America, you can choose to get a starter dungeon instead, but um, anybody can win. There goes the chat. All I right. may have I just figured it's, spilled... it's 8 o'clock now, so I figured now's a good time to oh, start yeah. the giveaway while you're out of the room. While I'm spilling an enormous amount of hot water all over the place. Oh, are we making pasta? Yep. Um, oh, should we, show, should we show the fan build? Yeah, let's show the fan build. So this one's actually kind of a blast of the past from uh, 2019. As we were... You know, we've been talking about how we're bringing, uh, um, we're going to be doing a dock system with the new cities. Uh, recently, a thread kind of got revived in the forums uh, by one of our longtime diehards, <laughs> Law, who uh, experimented with making a port city with uh, all the stuff in just our original uh, cities. Uh, Kickstarter. Well, there's some dungeons. There's some castles. There's a there's a little mix of stuff in there. But... Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of really cool building tricks in here to kind of simulate the uh, the docks well, that we didn't make. And Law is a brilliant builder, and he's been he's been on the forums for a hundred years, and it's just like he's he is awesome. I was telling you, he made us a coffee table book of uh, his builds. He has a, yeah. a very good photographer too. Yeah, I'm very excited to get into some of the close up shots because there's like some. He, he did a, he did a lot of really good stuff to just kind of make the the city seem alive as well. The broken, uh, the uh, the ruined wooden floors, the dock, really clever. Yeah. There's a few non DF accessories. In here. Yeah, so you can see he he have the stairs kind of go down, and if you can see in like the middle of that picture. Um, okay, well it's moved by now. I'm actually not up to date on where it is, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, using like the the burnt out wooden floor is like part of the docks is brilliant. Oh, that's awesome. So he's using the um, elevation platforms as like the seawalls under there with the streets on top of them. Clever, uh, clever bit. Oh, there's the stairs down. Oh, onto the broken dock. Yeah, onto the broken, uh, the old ruined floor. He's awesome. 
Nighttime. Yeah. Took nighttime shots. Took daytime shots. Circle Use the LEDs is nice. Yeah, it's just a pretty cool, cool city build. Hopefully, get you excited for. Should I buy some city, city stuff now, or wait for the city build of the month before KS8 launch? Are we gonna do a city uh, build of the month? Before yeah, my plan is KS8? to do a city build of the month month in August before we go on hiatus. Sort of the last hurrah, slingshot us into castles. And just kind of as a as a taster to say like, see what you like in the city, so that you have a better idea of what you're gonna want from the Kickstarter. Yeah. Then the question is, do you want to just save that money for the new Kickstarter, though? Well, if you can yeah. use the gift card that comes with it in the Kickstarter, you maybe can't. that's a bit of an incentive. That would be too. Uh, that would be. That would work too well. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's fix some. Ooh, this is hot. Uh, this is just tap, hot tap water. Whoa, it's warping my. Uh, warping my. I'm gonna put down. Hmm. What am I gonna put this on? I mean, what's, what will people laugh at that? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the giveaway while you're oh, yeah. doing that real quick. Um, all right, let's see who it is. Pocket bears. Jade kind gaming Adam. Kind gaming. Um, Jade kind gaming. Oh. All right, I'm gonna get you a message so we can get you set up with this. Uh, congratulations. So, so fixing pieces. So the reality is, like, sometimes your pieces will warp if you store them funny. Sometimes if you don't store them funny. Sometimes they'll arrive warped. Sometimes it's just, it's a it's a natural part of dwarven knight. There's there's a little malleability to it, right? Over time, it'll bend a little bit. Very easy to fix, and it's a pretty routine thing. And I'm so what I have here is I have a pot of it's not even that hot actually. It might not even be hot enough. We'll see. It's straight out of the tap tap water just at full hot you can do boiling water if you want to be aggressive but i don't have any tongs or anything so i'm i, I uh got, even you've got drills enough. you've got saws yeah tongs aren't dangerous tongs. enough no um i just gonna put so you can just like run what i do is i like i run them i have the swim down here in the uh the basement level garage and there's a slop sink over there that's right next to the hot water heater so it's pretty hot water so i can just i just run the pieces under that hot water for 10 seconds and then Bill, let's see what happens oh yeah you can feel it gets nice and soft oh and then i also just for fun here oh i got some ice so this is just a bin with the like a big ice pack floating in it to... does this hurt the paint if it's painted no the paint's like sealed pretty well right uh, it's an enamel like or a lacquer based uh yeah. So then, basically, once you think it's soft, you hold it in place and throw it in the cold water, and ha, ah, it's cold. Rabbit makes a good point. If you're dealing with LED pieces, then put them in a sealed bag. Oh, Rabbit, you're them. stealing my thunder every time. Oh, <laughs> you were, were you gonna I, say that? Yeah, I can, got, I can, I can block him if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, boot that guy. I have the bag here. Come on, <laughs> come on, Rabbit, you're jumping the gun. Don't make me do an impersonation. <laughs> He really liked my accent. It was really... Well, he's uh, giving you the na 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 stuff. So there we go. Uh, what about Bacorni paint? So outside of the factory painted stuff, if we use Bacorni and paint it ourselves, hmm. should we like seal it with something first? Or that is a good question. Do I have? You know what? Let's find out. I'm gonna. Uh... Would the Would the answer there yeah, also just be to then put it in a bag first to be safe? Yeah, you could. But I'm curious if you skip the sec. So this is pretty, look at that, it's pretty flat now. Yeah. And if you want to get really crazy, you can throw books on stuff and leave it in overnight. And um, but it usually just some hot, hot water, cold water, boom, bop. Let's try. Uh, all right. Here. Oh. Should I do with limited edition white marble? Yeah, use the use the use the rare stuff. Why not? All right. Well, uh... I think I have a little... some of these large ports tend to work. Here, limited edition uh, white marble. Yeah, it's a little one. Let's try. 
That does look really nice. I hope we do something like that in KS8. Yep. Out of here. Ew. Don't try sealer on Dwarvenite. It gets sticky. Make more white marble. The white marble and, uh, and white marble is amazing. Is, like really cool. Look, we get people asking about them a lot. So here's here's uh here's some pieces that I hand painted. I made this like blue and purple dungeon with some Picorni paints and some like uh, I don't know craft paints or whatever. Let's, let's throw these precious one of a kind hand painted pieces in there. Let's, let's see, see what happens. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the worst the worst that happens is my hands are cold. Now all that's happening is people are asking us to make more white marble. Yeah. Cause it's awesome. Make graveyards and mausoleums and marble. Everything white marble. He's like Is the painting cost for white marble too high? Is that why it's rare? Uh no, we did it as a limited edition thing. Look at these deuses, like Yeah. No, these were these were, it was a it was a limited edition Oh by the way, this one that came came out fine, like We did it only for the Kickstarter. We did the Jade Temple in this limited edition. Uh, limited edition Jade Temple, limited edition. Uh, white marble. Uh, limited edition, stupid. A white marble sunken mausoleum. That'd be really cool. I'm not opposed to that. Ooh. You know what? Oh, for the mod section, I can work on this thing. Um. So, so hear me out. Make a second limited edition run. <laughs> <laughs> no, we promised people it was going to be a Kickstarter exclusive. We can't. Okay. It sounds like uh, a lot of people want us to do white marble again in KSA. Yeah, because it's glorious. All right, so we find it that. Looks, it looks out. amazing. Like, it looks great. Yeah. Uh, okay. So right, the update so on the Jade Temple corner pieces that they have a twist in them, so they need to be corrected on two planes. Uh, like, they have a twist. They're not, they're not just bent. So we should address that at some point. Okay, let me find... Hey, yeah, I think it's under the computer. Hold on. My Forsaken Temple is going to be a hard one. I was going to show, as Rabbit was saying, let's say you have a piece... Like, here's it. So this... This isn't even bent that much, but you see how it's kind of, like, bent? It's not a perfect 90-degree angle. I don't know if you can read it. Mm -hmm. Maybe read it on the side better. Yeah, it's just like it's just, like, slightly... Bent in. For, yeah, so you throw it in a Ziploc, and then you drop it. Oh, wait, how about those hand-painted... Uh... Ooh, they look even better. <sighs> this is like, what's that treatment where you go like in a sauna, and then you go jump out in the snow, do whatever? It's like, I'm putting my hands in hot water and then in ice water, and it's really, uh, it's an interesting experience. I don't know, it feels like... Uh... <clears throat> there was this anime... Uh, called Case Closed that was based off of a manga called Detective Conan. Uh, and there was an episode Wait, where... Wait, Conan they... was a detective? He took a break yeah, so from... It's, 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 a, it's a detective and he gets trapped in like the body of a child. And so uh -huh. he's like helping this like really, really bad detective solve cases while being like a... like While looking like a 12-year-old and who's pretending not to know what's going on. So it's not Conan the Barbarian is what you're telling me. It's not. It's not Conan the Barbarian uh, as a detective, no. That, the I'm... point is, there was an episode where... This conversation's over. <laughs> They triggered a guy to have a heart attack by rapidly changing the temperature from very hot to very cold. Oh. And it's, like, stuck with me, like, all my life. And I've been terrified of putting myself in circumstances where that could happen to me. Even though the odds are phenomenally low. No, it's Conan O'Brien who's the detective. <laughs> it's Conan O'Brien in a 12-year-old's body. Isn't he already in a 12-year-old's body? Man, no, there. have you seen how tall he is? No, you're right. He's in like a twelve-year-old tree's body. Man, so the one thing. Right. So I have, I have almost everything. I got the castles, by the way. Now are like I've got castles on my fingertips. I have almost everything possible from resin upward at my fingertips. Forsaken Temple is a tough one. I'm gonna dig it out though. Give me, uh, give me, give me sixty seconds. It's, not, it's, it's. Literally under, it's like, 
the table that has the computer, it's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. Oh, yeah, let's see how this thing's holding up. So you don't have to bend them once they go back in the cold water? Are you saying they have a memory or something for their original shape? Uh, sometimes they do, and I always like to, I like to hold them in place and then dunk them in the cold water. Um, the other thing, if you're really ambitious, you can, like, clamp them. Yeah, like, this one already popped back a little bit. Uh, if you're really ambitious, you can, like, clamp them overnight, which I do, uh, sometimes. I, I like to do it with minis, like, adjust their pose or whatever. And I'll, I'll just throw these, like, throw these clamps on, hold the thing overnight, in water sometimes too. Let's see how this works. Ah, it's cold. Okay, how are these features? It reminds me of I shot this I shot this movie once. It was like a superhero like origin story short film. Uh it was like an NYU film. And I was playing this kid who like he has like you know, like it's a depressing, sad like story and all that. And he discovers that he has the ability to make things melt. And so the climax of the scene, or the, the climax of the movie is basically like these bullies that have been picking on, picking on him. Uh, he melts them? Attack him in the field and yeah, he melts, he melts one. He just like, he just like knocks him down and he just like puts his hands on him and just like melts him. And so we're, we're, shoot, we're shooting that scene. And uh, I get up and I'm supposed to like were have my, my hands covered in like this stuff that's supposed to like be like the the blood and guts and all that and like bone gristle but we were we were shooting this scene in six degree weather in a field in jersey and so and then like covering my hands in like this this thick liquid uh and then there was snow on the ground and the snow melted halfway through shooting it so then we had to reshoot everything that we had shot so that we wouldn't have snow disappearing over the course of the scene and like I could not feel my hands after that. Like we get because we, we kept having to then like rinse them off with just like bottled water, and it was it was awful. So you're saying you suffered for your art? Yeah, and then they never finished editing the movie. So oh. which which stinks because like it was probably one of the better things I've I, I've done mm. just in terms of like how it looked and all that. So is this the piece I was looking for? But in Jade, but I, don't, I don't I haven't you Jade, know Jade Temple Corner piece. It probably doesn't matter if it's Jade as long as it's the Temple yeah. Corner piece. I haven't actually opened my jade, believe it or not. I've been used. I used the regular. I'm saving the jade for a special occasion. I don't know what the occasion. But... Was that the correct piece? Uh, I'm waiting for the answer. Uh, how often are the resin sets stocked? Not often. Yeah. Uh, surface. Was that the correct piece? Did you see what he was holding up? Uh, like it's not the jade version, but it should apply to the jade version as well. It's the exact same footprint. I'm looking for one that's warped. Mine of those were a little warped as well, says Vertex. So I guess maybe that had an issue with them? Mm, it does have a little... Like this guy's got a little... Yeah. Does Nate have at least one of every piece? No, there's a couple things he doesn't have, I think. Right? Resin. I have, I have, I have at least one of everything that's in Dwarvenite. There's some resin I don't have. Um, that, that, yeah, that was like an issue with the. Was it with the resin catacombs we had a bit of an issue with? No, I've got I've got I've got catacombs one and two, realm of the ancients, all those sets. I don't have the like the I don't have that limited spinning realm of the ancients like medallion piece that was like a weird limited one. I don't have some of the resin caverns. I don't have bunch of the resin dungeons i don't have um but i have everything in dwarvenite uh and a, a good chunk of resin so wait this thing is sort of warped so let's see although mine's only warped in one it's it's hard to even see it's, it's slightly this slightly tips up slightly is it is there is it a different project prob, problem for somebody else he said it was a twist so it was like on two plane um Let's see. I've noticed the yellow dwarvenite warps a lot easier than the gray. I'm surprised. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let me pull Realm of the Ancients back. Could we soft? Um, so far, I haven't heard back from Seraphis. 
Uh, but Akio okay. says, I have warped around tower walls. How should I fix those? Ooh, I don't know. Let's go take a look at those, too. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, let's look at this guy. See how it came out of the bag. Hmm. Yeah, I should have held it in place. It's still a little warped. Well, yeah, it's slightly better, but it's not... It wasn't really wildly warped to begin with. I don't know why it's in the repair me box. Um, do we need to... Do we need to... While we're waiting for that... Oh, these things are fine. The ones I painted seem like they survived. Does the white this work with survived. Corbinite? No. Oh, did the, did the corny paint stay on? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So is that? I'm glad. Because <laughs> it's been a long time painting this. Um, that is, that is scientifically sound, then. While we, yeah, while we wait for Seraphis to confirm if, if this was... I was talking about... Oh, I get it. Let me try. Let me do another. Uh, we did the bag. We did that. We did. Do people need to know how to glue in magnets? Do I want to do like? Um, I think it's a, magnets and like the metal sheets on the stilts yeah. coming off are fairly common issues. So we should probably cover those. I mean, I have. That's the majority. Oh, Seraphis is back now. Can you show Seraphis the, the the piece? I guess they stepped out for a bit. Uh, we wanted is to check here? and see if this is the right piece. It's not in jade, but it's the same footprint. Yeah. So is that the one you're talking about? Look at some catacombs cast in Dwarvenite. Yeah. A lot of people want a lot of the resin in Dwarvenite. Not the LED one, just a regular corner. Oh, regular corner? Yeah, regular corner, apparently. Forsaken Temple? Apparently. There is no regular corner in the Forsaken Temple. Oh. There was no other corner. Yeah, people are saying there was no other corner. Interesting. Was there a different set with Jade other than the Forsaken Temple? No. Well, oh, he does mean the LED one then. Alright. He what? He does mean the LED one then. He does mean. Yeah, okay. okay. Um. So that's someone slightly... I don't know exactly what your your. I don't know where the second axis is though. That's the, that's the one that can. That's, but this one is slightly. This one's slightly warped. It's like, I don't know if you can see the. Uh, it's got a little rock back and forth. So let's try it. Let's see what happens. You know what I'm gonna do? This, let's make it lively. <laughs> We're gonna turn it on, and put it in the water. <laughs> Cause you know. Oh, and then I have to I have to drill that uh that drift stone out, and I want to I want to cut this thing up, and not by cut I mean fix it, not cut it up. Uh, and here's the, here's a good one. I want to I want to repair one of these. I don't know if anybody has problems with these things. They irk me to no end. The, the new stilts don't have uh the same issue with like the, the metal plates coming off, right? Like no, we we because the whoa they were t the old ones were just atrocious. Um, yeah. yeah, the new ones are dynamite. I have yet to have one come off. What's the next five years of Kickstarters look like? Uh, I, we just gotta get past this one right now. <laughs> Honestly, right past. We have to start. We have to launch this one. We have to. Yeah. First we have to fulfill Wildlands, and we have to launch this one. But then. Oh, thank you for the subs, Odin Forged. Hey, Odin. That's uh, that's another hype train. Um, Woo! Oh, because turned off LED dumped in hot water was too mainstream. <laughs> it was. It was. Ooh, I'm spilling so water. So basically, how you would fix any warping on like any piece? Yep. Is just use the the hot water. Yep. And I don't know if this water is even hot enough anymore. It's it's very pleasant now. It's pretty close. You boiling? You can do boiling or slightly slightly, just about boiling, but. Um, you, you, and you can feel it when the piece gets soft. I've had problems with like half of my LED socket pieces. I've had to take them apart and super glue the socket back up into the dwarvenite above it. Mm. That's rough. That these ones. Um, the copper LED socket. Socket pieces. These ones sure. are particularly bad. We'll talk about them in a second. Yeah, I have about fifty percent of mine are are broken too. That's why I have a bucket of them to fix. It's a, it's a it's a good easy fix. 
and it's a very common one. All right, let's see if this is. Uh... All right, so here LED still uh, still going. Let me see it. I wonder why they have those issues. Uh, I can tell you why. I'll show you. Well, let me just get this thing here. I feel like a guy who can melt stuff with my hands now. I'm feeling <laughs> your... Man, the amount of things that I've been in that just never got finished. It's frustrating. Life as an actor. Yeah. That's why I started doing all the behind the scenes stuff so I could actually make sure it gets done. <laughs> yeah, you started editing so that your films could get finished. <laughs> Basically. I did like three movies in a row where I was like actually really like happy and proud of them and then they just never actually got like released. They got really far too. One of them was just the color correction. Oh the sound design was done and everything. It's like it's only color just release it without color correction then. Like I don't get just release it. Yeah. It was almost yeah. ready. Oh wait. Like, so this thing uh, still LED still flickering and it's it's super flat now. So right. I don't know if that really showed you anything, but other than just throw it in a bag, put it in hot water, put it in cold water, call it a day. Um But that's the that's it. I mean it's it's really it's not that hard and I Vertex, thank you for the five gift subs. What? Wow. Okay. I also I think you just up the hype train. I also, I also, when I when I do it in the in the slop sink, I just run it under hot water, bend it, run, turn it to cold water, hold it under the cold water for ten seconds, and and out. It's like a very fast, easy fix if there's a sink nearby. Honestly, the thing that I'm happiest about is that we uh, confirmed that it does not make the paint come off. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's nice. Yeah. Including warning. Yeah. Including white marble, including hand painted. Okay, let's do, let's do this guy next. Turn uh, you off. All right. So this thing. So this, this the copper socket. Let's get him closer. From all right, Kickstarter four. So this was our first uh, JST connector. Let me get this hot. Uh, water out of here. Not good to have water near what I'm doing. That's totally fair. I can't be <laughs> can't be trusted around water. Sharp power tools and stuff. That's okay. But water. Whew, I got to draw the line somewhere. So this was our our uh, our first foray into JST connectors, and uh, we did not. We didn't. Uh, we didn't have them. We didn't test the the factory models rigorously enough, uh, or maybe the ones that we the first ones we got were they did a better job on, and I don't know. But they um, there's a there's a very a, a very common problem with these things. So the, to open it up, you take the uh, take a little jeweler's screwdriver, or whatever, pop that little Phillips screw out of there. The thing opens up. So the problem is here. This the JST connector. Let's go into here. Ah. <laughs> my blocker. There we go. Okay. The let's focus. <laughs> So the JST connector is essentially hot glued into this little slot, but it's not the glue does not have the staying power it requires. So there's two things you can do. Step one, take some super glue. I love this gorilla brush on super glue. Oh, you know what yeah, that stuff's doing? very useful. It dries like real fast. Yeah, it's awesome. A little brush, it's like I've I have I probably have 50 bottles of it here. I have a whole drawer full of bottles because I don't ever want to have like less than 10 bottles. So <laughs> I had I overcompensate make sure I just have a ton. So what I like to do is just paint like just paint it around the uh, the edge of this thing and then pop this back in. Yeah. If I can do it to the camera. Did I do it backwards? Yeah. 
How did I manage that? And then do you uh, do you have any issues with uh, like a white residue being left around the edges or anything? Um, not if you. Oh, what am I doing here? There we go. Uh, no. Let's look at it. Let's let's see our residue. I'm gonna hold that thing on and see if it hurts. All right, so that's that's the that's the that's the level one version. The level two version. Let's see, open this thing up. I guess you could also go in with some hot glue. I don't know. I like the the super glue is just fast and easy. It is like it's it's what I use for minis, just because like yeah. And you can just, use just the hitting kick. like the spot that I'm trying to connect, and then you can use the kicker to speed it up if you want. Um, don't try using wood glue for minis, by the way. Um, no, dude. <laughs> learned that. Yeah, I learned that recently. Not uh not what it was made for. Only a only a savage would uh, <laughs> would use like a drill or a. Or wood glue saying around their minis. It's like these crazy things. Uh, so here's my here's my my fun second level hack is if you really want to make sure it stays safe forever, uh, is if you have something lying around like say a whole bunch of foam that you use for doing mock ups. So there's a uh, there's a gap about an eighth inch gap between the battery and the top of the thing. So what I like to do is, is this? Yeah, that's good. I cut myself a little piece of foam. I cut myself is probably not the right phrasing. I wondered about using wood slash white glue to fill minor gaps in dwarvenite. Not actually a good idea? No, you could you could fill or green stuff is a better uh, better option. Let's see if this fits. So like I what I'll do is I'll take I'll cut a little piece of foam. I'll make sure that it fits. It does and then I'm going to glue it. Uh, I'm going to glue it in place and that gives me uh, some extra pressure on that thing so it's not going to go anywhere. And I use the foam because then I don't have to be super precise like it's got a little give. So I don't have to be super precise with uh, my measurements. I literally, literally just took, cut the piece of foam in half. And, oh, man, another notification. You're popular tonight. Oh, man, how did I get that upside down? <laughs> You've got the next request after uh, we finish with these. What's the next request? The LED pillars from uh, CBS oh. suffer from the socket being pushed into the sculpt. That you know, I haven't ever done that one. Chuck has, but let's try. Let's try it. Let's try it live on camera. And see what happens. Wait, how did I miss this? Up? There we go. Yeah, that one is another annoying one. It's just frustrating when like the issue doesn't exist with the with the samples that we get sent and then it would go into mass production yeah well like those and suddenly there's an issue. stilts so this is pretty bulletproof man what am i who's sending what that oh i didn't is that emails i or what is it's email i didn't quit the email uh that's what it is quit the email as they say let's test these things out some LED pillars to go with my wall of thorns to make an ivy covered fence. Huh. Sounds pretty cool actually. That sounds really cool. Alright, so that guy's working. Look at that. This guy's working. What is that? That's the um the Eldritch Eye from Caverns Deep. So huh. like it's a Storm Giant's eye or Beholder's Eye grafted onto a um piece of blue basalt 
hag, typical hag stuff, you know. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, Real messed up looking. Yeah, it's dynamite. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, the that that LED pillar. Yeah, yes. the LED pillars from CBS. Yes. Before we do that, <laughs> let me because I have this one queued up. Let me um, let's do a let's do something dangerous first, and then we'll go get that. Oh, and then we also have to do this guy. Speaking of CBS and something dangerous, uh, Overboard is saying, uh, drill the old city builder posts like the ones in the upcoming Kickstarter. Oh, geez, that's dangerous. Add like the, uh, yeah. Try to try to add the facade holes. You got to be precise with that. <sighs> that is. All it's right. a real risk. All right, so let's see if this is working. So we've got here, this is the spring release trapdoor from, did I have that backwards to do? Wait, what in tarnation? Oh, this really is broken. Oh man, I have to find the. That's why it's in here. All right, we'll try. Mm. Yeah, I already modded these. You want that pit so badly? I want to fix. Well, so there's a problem with the pit. You can see this one. Is this a sample? Where is the piece? Oh, yay. So the, I don't know if you can see, there's the the lip of the pit extends out just a sprinkle too much. So I already did it on these ones. I cut, uh, I just with a this razor, I just cut the, uh, just lightly shave off a tiny bit, and then it moves. It's really smooth, and the uh, every time your players die. So this is the result you're supposed to get is you press the button and the thing opens. But when that thing is there, sometimes it hits your uh, walls. I can show you on the, this one is of course broken. I don't know where this is missing this little piece here that holds this bar across. But I could, let me see if I can get it to not work and see if it appropriately doesn't work as is. And then I can sort of show the fix. So this one, let's see if I press it. Yeah. So this is the the broken door is still working, but the non-broken door isn't because there's too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. It's this <laughs> right. So, so this thing, this thing is just causing fr friction there. So you literally just take a uh, take a box cutter or whatever. An exacto knife is probably a more civilized way to do it, and then just just gently like shave off. A little bit there until it uh it cuts smooth. Really doesn't take much. Let's see if that did. Yeah, see that working now. Yeah, because you want that gag to work at the table. If you're gonna do it, it's gotta it's gotta well. Yeah, the gag is the most important thing, right? Yeah, dude, it's a fun one. Man, where is that little piece? All right. Um, all right, so what are they, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to. The LED and, post from CBS. And I need to, uh, I want to drill and mod this. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find a broken one. Whatever said he had to, he had to do that to one of his, uh, he said you had to do that fix as well. All right, well, we got, here's the good news. I have a lot of them on hand. So, the bad news is, I don't know if any of them are broken. Now look at this. These are the ones that I haven't used yet. I wonder where all the ones I'm using are. Okay. That one's not broken. Ooh, this one looks dicey. No. So, what's the issue? It gets pushed into so the this, skull? Yeah. The... Like it, like it falls into the negative space. It's the worst. This socket here gets pushed in. Like this little guy gets pushed. Ooh, is this one going? Oh, maybe I can just forcibly force one in and then have to fix. Is make it a similar thing with the glue, just like not being strong enough? Or yeah, I think so. I think Chuck took these apart and found there was some flaw. Maybe he's watching. Chuck, are you out there? Oh, this uh, one's kind of I haven't sad. seen them yet today. People are asking if they can just buy these from you, though. Uh, from me? No, no, no. Yeah, they're like, I yeah, just manly those then if you're not using them. No, I, I, uh, 
<laughs> I have yeah, it's fun. I have a I have a I opened a pack I think that I haven't used these these six have not gone out into circulation. Oh this one too. Well, no, I love these things. These are my favorite. These are a few of my favorite things. They get they can put them anywhere. That's really great. All right, so this one is kind of. Those are, those are your pieces with warped with warp bases. The base of those work for you. They're so small. Yeah, sometimes the base doesn't sit right on it either. That's another good one. All right. But you can also just pop the base off if it's causing you trouble. Uh, so this thing, let's see what we got. We gotta pull this thing out. When you have some downtime to answer a question, let me know. Sure. Uh, I have an important Wildlands question. Going forward, should we expect to see outside terrain built at Arenthor height or escarpment height or both? Uh, we probably will favor escarpment height um, over Arenthor height. And then there's, of course, the original escarpments, which go to escarpment height from be in line with floors. So they're kind of just actually getting you up Arenthor height. But I think that's our favorite. Huh. So I'm looking at this thing. I feel like I need to. Where's the seam in this? A lot of people are asking us to restock these. <laughs> we don't have these in stock. Oh, these things are these things are dynamite. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is the one we're gonna have to take this thing apart. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where the uh, there's a seam, there's a vertical seam that goes up, it goes around, but I'm trying to see what the base. Who did Rabbit say he already took one of these apart? Is there? Uh, where's it come from? I'm not sure base? he's fixed them, but he's had issues with them. Is what he was saying. Yeah. The... Oh, okay. So. Yeah, it sounded like we should add these to the restock list if possible. Boy, I don't know if that was a bad thing I just did or what. Uh, so I got a good little cracking noise, so we got that going. What am I going to do? I'm going to get a... Oh, okay. What is it? I just heard that. I just heard oh. like the, the slamming around. I was like, did you fall? No, it was, I was, it was a drawer of screwdrivers. So I'm okay. I'm uh, I'm trying to force this thing apart. Not taking one apart. Managed to get ours working though. Careful. So Rabbit hasn't fixed one yet. He he just figured out how to work with it. Well, that's you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> we're going we're going well, in. Tyler's here. He's got to get two of them batteries. Tyler. Um, Yell at everyone to restock the uh, the the LED posts from CDS. People want them. No, they're from uh, they're from Castles. Oh, they're from Castles. Uh, Where's were they from Castles? Uh, I think they were Castles. Got to get two of them batteries. That's what Tyler says. They are from Castles. Okay. Rabbit lied to me. That's fine. Insertion of the LED so we don't push it in too far. Oh, so like, does it fall into the sculpt when you're trying to attach the LED? Yeah, you push the LED and then it pushes the socket in. It's really annoying. And Chuck yeah, took LED, yeah, took the one LED of these apart. Filler. Everybody's saying they, they want us to restock it. Yeah, Chuck took them apart and discovered the thing, and now we're gonna rediscover what he is discovering. Okay. See. Um. Ooh. Tyler showing off by saying the skew number of the. Said <laughs> in chat now, so. Dude, LD zero zero four, of course. Yeah. I just read it off the bottom. It's the best piece to put lantern LEDs in. They look fantastic. Yeah, I think did Law use some of them in that build of the yeah. in, the, in the fan build that we Yeah. Showed? They're no they're 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 just a good all around workhorse. Um, I have none and Nate or <laughs> uh Yeah, because I haven't even been watching you like try to break them is crushing them. <laughs> I'm not trying to break it. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put it back together. Don't worry. There's so much to keep track of for restocks. I wasn't aware that we were out of these. Yeah. You know, the other one we really want to put in the, uh, our new reconfig. So we really want to do the, uh, we got to do the torch stands as a standalone. 
thing. <laughs> the one Nate's working on is now half off. Yeah, fifty percent off. Unpainted as well. Yeah, people want it in unpainted too, which makes sense. This is a this is a piece that would be very easy to paint in different schemes to work it into different environments. I'll give him five dollars for the broken one. <laughs> I, it's, it's like setting an LED post on fire and lighting a cigar with it. It's going to be fixed by the time we're done. Don't you worry. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm going to put it back together. Everybody's just, everybody's just having an emotional experience in chat as, as you're slowly demolishing this piece. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fixing it. <laughs> you, don't, you, have to, you have to make a mess before you clean up. That's how it works. Trust me, I'm fixing it. <laughs> Oh, boy, it's a, it makes a lot of cracking noises. I don't know if you can hear one game, but it, like... <laughs> Are you sure you're fixing it? Yeah, yeah, we got this. We got this. I hope Tyler's not having a heart attack the way I'm using a blade here. Oh, I me painted one of the bricks on it a different color uh, as, a, as a gaming item to see if they find it for a key. So, like, making it, like, a little puzzle, like, one brick that's off color. That's cool. That's pretty interesting. Like, I have to actually, like, look at it. Hmm. That's, how, that's how you fix a dog, not a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Tears and beers. Trust the process. All right. like a pillar. I'm fixing it, he says, <laughs> while sawing at it with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to stop. This is so sad. All right, we got this thing. This is going to be so, it's going to be better than better than new. The best part is I kind of had to break it to make it be broken in the first place. Like, I really, I forcefully jammed the, the, thing in with the screwdriver to make it broken so i could fix it i think we need to use the drill on it nate all right we can Dear god make him stop tyler says there's so many pieces that we've held on to because you just said no nah, i need it it's just about everything okay cool so you see how easily this comes apart it's just <laughs> like a, it's like a seamless this is like watching an evil necromancer <laughs> slaughter a villager and cackling to himself no no i'm fixing her don't worry so it's it's uh it's two parts that uh are there you know they they didn't spare any glue on that part. I'll tell you, it is uh, it's not so easy. So it it conceptually just comes right apart. Uh, and hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's zoom in here. Oh man. Burgundy. I thought to see sandstone pillars with these. Just drop these in a desert. So essentially, we have this has the same problem as the other, as the previous piece we fixed, where this LED is just held on with some hot glue. All right, boom. Same thing, just a little bit of hot glue. So let's do the same thing. Let's stick, um, let's stick, uh, let's glue this on with some super glue and then like jam a bunch of stuff in the back of there just for fun. Um, and then I'm going to try and break it once I've fixed it, see if it's, uh, see how well we fixed it. But I've never done this one. This is fun. How many more pieces you know are going to do this too? I can't take it. <laughs> you know what's, what's going to be hilarious is then I'm going to find one that was actually broken that I have, and I could have fixed a one that was actually broken instead of breaking one to then fix it. But, you know, what do you do? Alright, so here's uh let's see what happens. If he grabs a hammer, I'm out of here. Well we're gonna do the drill next. That'll be fun. <laughs> if he grabs the hammer, that just means the show is beginning. You start <laughs> gallagering some pieces. <laughs> you know? Don't tempt me. Oh man, I just man. painted over the socket. Let's see what happens. I hope we're able to get this back together. Yeah, it'll be a be a good clip for the old socials. All right. Uh, All right I'll move in front so, of the camera, please. That's right. You you're off camera a little bit, but you're also I'm, your hands are also oh. there. So it's like uh, yeah, it's 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 hard to. I did not set up this camera to be great for while I was also fixing doing pieces. Surgery. Yeah. All right. So we'll put a little uh, a little gorilla glue. So basically, it's the same. It's the same process. You take, you you once you cleanly and easily open up the piece, you uh, you throw some gorilla glue in the uh, on the back of that thing, and uh, let's see how that works. 
it's you know this one I might not recommend as much. This fix is a little. Uh, it's uh, it's not quite as easy as the the ones that you can actually just screw them open. But I think it's gonna work. Let's see. Should we put a. Uh, It's on the anvil, not past the scalpel. Look at that. Past the scalpel, not cut your fingers off. So now, I think when Chuck did this, he put something He put something back here. What do I have? I feel like it needs to be even more rigid than foam because, hmm. What do we have lying around that I want to just jam into the thing forever? You know what I have? This is well, uh, cat whiskers, finally. Speaking of things that are really safe, I have this cool... I, we use this cup of uh, of old razor blades. <laughs> a drill bit. Uh, are we gonna have these problems with the standing stones in Wildlands? Should no, we, like, we've, we've learned our lesson. Look out for that? We have learned our lesson. Let's. Uh, a little piece of wood. <laughs> Please don't hide an old razor blade in the lantern post. <laughs> I was gonna hide like a bucket of them, but that was. Is this how we break somebody out of prison? Is just hide a bunch of like, like yeah. hide some files and some dwarvenite. Ooh, so this wood fits perfectly. So I'm gonna cut. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Who keeps old razor blades? Nate keeps everything. He well, keeps cat whiskers. <laughs> no, I wanted to dispose of those razor blades, but I'm not sure how. So if somebody, <laughs> I want to do it safely and and responsibly, but I don't know how. So I just keep a bucket. You should see the what the jar at work. Everybody wants to know why you keep cat whiskers. So I can make a giant porcupine. Um, you know, someone that I used to LARP with uh, made this unbelievable, they were like a cat folk, and they made this unbelievable prosthetic, and like they, they looked like an ama they looked like a cat, and they had these whiskers. Um, and so I said, well, how did you, like, dude, whiskers are so amazing. How did you, how'd you do those? I said, oh, we, uh, they're from from our cats i just harvested them like what do you mean you harvested whiskers is it maybe they, like, they cut the whiskers off of the cat like, no no they just waited until they fell off and then um they just fall off and then get, yeah yeah uh, i've been collecting so in, ever, ever since i was like well there's might be a use for cat whiskers so i have uh i have a whole bunch of and so i'm gonna no i'm gonna glue them to this bear to make a giant porcupine for jason but um, here, i'm just gonna cut this thing. don't worry i've got safety goggles on so. I have this really cool tiny saw that I should show off. Is it on? It's my, like, I love how much of this is off camera. We just hear you rummaging around wondering what's going to come out. No, it's all, everything's safe, safe here. So we have this little piece of wood ready to go. And I have this amazing, I have this amazing little saw. Looks like my just, <laughs> Everything's safe here. <laughs> Wait, can I see this thing? Like, look at this little tiny, uh, it's like my favorite, uh, it's like a mini chop saw. Look how tiny that thing is. It's like perfect for, uh, for miniature work. So it's, it's all the benefit of a, a big giant, Chop saw, but it's just it's tiny. You use it for uh, small bits. <laughs> All right, so we cut a little piece of I think this is quarter inch wood. Is there smoke stuff. I see in the background? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, <laughs> somebody just came into the stream and they're like, "What is happening?" <laughs> <laughs> just another Monday night or Tuesday, night, whatever night it is. Wednesday. It's, Wednesday. it's been Wednesday for the last year and a half. That is a fact. That was a little over a year. Six millimeter. Yeah, so quarter inch, little piece of quarter inch wood. I think this is going to be the best thing ever. I'm going to, yeah. I'm just going to glue that in there for all eternity so that um, this thing will never break again. Not that it really broke in the first place, but, you know. <laughs> Nate taking something you can't buy and then destroying it to fix it. 
This is what happens when you're the last generation to have shop in public school. <laughs> the... I, remember, I remember wood shop. Wait, they don't have wood shop anymore? I don't know. They had it when I went. Granted, I also grew up in a mill town, so I think mm. having wood shop just kind of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, shop was awesome. They had like I enjoyed it. The... Outside of and the teacher was weird. He eventually got arrested a couple of years after I got, I graduated. For what? Uh, stuff that's probably better not to say. All right, here. all right. <laughs> yeah, not good stuff. Do you? Who gets arrested for good stuff? Like, I don't know. People can get arrested for doing something kind of cool or funny, but like. No, this is very much on the like, wow, he really shouldn't be teaching children. Uh, oh. End of things. Yeah. I got arrested for something like that. But we won't talk about that on the air. Not for, I mean, for funny. Wait. Not, not, not for funny. Oh, you, you <laughs> like, got arrested yeah, for funny. Yeah. That, like, okay. not funny. Or cool, funny, stupid. Got it. Like, not, yeah, they're, yeah they're, not. They're, yeah, there they're are good ways to get arrested. Nelson Mandela got arrested for good stuff. No, that's like, that's like actual world changing stuff. I don't know. It was like yeah. stupid. Yeah, my funny, teacher like, was yeah. not Nelson Mandela. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, look at this. It's gonna be hilarious when it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, that actually. Good as new. I mean, effortless too. That's the best part. It was just like it's nothing. <laughs> it was like... Yeah, you really, yeah, you really can't see where you. Broke yeah. It. I mean, that was like a thirty-second fix. <laughs> Yeah. It's really remarkable. It's uh, yeah. yeah. Shop and Olmec aren't offered much anymore due to cutbacks. Huh. Yeah, I don't every, think every surprise that you did it, like oh wow, congratulations! Like, wow, he really did it. Now sell them to us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Should I sell? Okay, it them? works. It, it works again, just like when you started. <laughs> <laughs> before I before I jam the the screwdriver in to break it so that I could fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if Should if I... that happens to your piece whether or not you're the one that does it um that's how you can fix it i guess all right who is who is the person that really wanted this one <laughs> should we give it away uh sign it and give it away as a uh rabbit's the one who everybody. brought it up because he has a bunch of them but there's like uh should we do people a people in chat who are saying they want to buy them but they're not in stock oh i thought they wanted to buy the specifically the broken one i mean oh unbroken <laughs> fixed one do people actually still want to buy the broken one not buy it, but we could give it away. It's like, uh, we'll as a give it fun... away. Just ship them one corner post. Slightly, slightly dinged up. Yeah, who was it that was saying five dollars for the for the post? Somebody was saying that. Um. Uh, let's do this. To do this thing. Are there any other actual things? Oh, I didn't do magnets or metal, but those are pretty self-explanatory. I'm trying to find that part of the chat. Um, okay. No, that thing's working. Here's this one that kills me. I have so many of these stilts that are off. I just do a gorilla. <laughs> I used to use gorilla glue for everything. So the answer is get Nate to drop by to fix it. Yeah. So if you if your if your LED corner post breaks, just let us know. We'll send Nate over with <laughs> that saw. <laughs> Dude, that saw and, is uh, awesome. Let's see. Miniature chop saw? Come on. Who doesn't want a miniature chop saw? <laughs> that was... The last 15 minutes of the last few on the anvils have been pretty weird. I don't remember last, like, last week. What happened last, last week? week? <laughs> last week was we were talking about tech. Well, what happened last week? Hi, cat. What's up? Start an auction. Ooh, a charity auction. Maybe the big winner also gets it chopped up. They auction off this one corner post that has you, some weird stuff inside it. You now. can win a game with Stefan, a fifteen hundred dollar gift certificate, or <laughs> this, this like this resurrected, uh, resurrected post. It, you thought it was dead, but no. I know people were uh, people were betting against me on that one. I think. Uh, Just because I'd never done one before, <laughs> oh, so that when I put the magnets in and glue them, I I use something over so I don't get glue on oh, my fingers. Can you state the size of magnets to get? So, uh, what what size magnets should they get if they're getting replacement magnets? Hmm. The one I just glued in. Hmm. 
Uh, <laughs> well, let me find. So these are. Oh, here's a good example. I have a whole, whole slew of them all stuck on the thing. Let's get the caliper back out. That's gorilla glue. Yeah, he's using gorilla glue. Specifically, they make the brush, the yellow gorilla type of the glue. brush. Yeah, they make this one like this. It's nice. You can just brush it on, so you don't have to worry about it pooling and stuff like that. Um, I use gorilla glue for really everything. For Tons of it. Uh, all right, let's see if I can. Uh, you can watch me suffer with this trying to get a magnet on a metal jawed caliper. Uh, somebody asked. It is for. What's that Megatron colored thing? I assume it's the the uh, Underdoom Driftstone. Yeah, four point seven five point four seven five inches, which is whatever that is. What's point four seven five inches in millimeters? It's Fifteen six thirty seconds or twelve millimeters. That's much better. Twelve millimeter diameter for like the for the large ones, and they are. I'm gonna guess what three mil thick. Yeah, two point nine six three millimeters, roughly. <laughs> oh, measuring magnets is the difficult part now. After yeah. the pillar, they're metal. They like they stick to the jaws. It was really this was a struggle. Uh, and then the small ones, these guys. Oh, here's one. What was the thickness? Trying to find on K and J. Uh, uh, three millimeters. It was like two point, two point nine six or something. Yeah, this is interesting. It's three point. The measuring instrument. What's the name of the measuring instrument that you're using? It's a caliper. The caliper. digital caliper. And um, I use it a lot. And you can also do reverse mode or from the inside out. So this, these, the the little ones are three millimeters thick, also, and oh, you cantankerous, and five, six, six millimeters in diameter. It's upside down, so that's why it looks like nine, but it's a six. The cat's name is Sally. Uh, what's the strength? Is it N fifty two? That I don't know. Was that your cat screaming? No, that was the oh. mic. Oh. The mic arm is needs oil, Got it. I think. Um all right, well, oh, should we try and drill this thing? Uh for the uh were there any other fixes or pe that people are curious about that I should, any any dangerous things I should try and fix? Wait, what was there it? Are a couple others. Uh Oh, uh, what was the one? Oh. One more whisper for the collection. Uh, wait, I'm going to show you a little with that whisper collection. Drill places for magnets and torbonite. Have you ever... Like a visual walkthrough of how to magnetize some sets that don't have magnets would be an interesting thing to do at some point. Have you ever really looked at cat whiskers? Are they, like, taper gently? Like, there's... It's a really hard thing to replicate. They're... I... I'm not denying that the things that you say about cat whiskers are true. My problem is just... How passionate you are about them you know what i i everything is a potential everything is a potential material right there's i have i have like i have been labeled random useful materials yeah random useful materials that's like because anything you never know when you're going to need a thing for something so like particularly something as particular as a cat whisker um so i i i gather useful materials store them somewhere where I, I can find them, and then, you know, five years later, I need that thing, and it's I've got it. And then as soon as you throw it out, you needed it. Uh, what was I just mentioning? Oh, this is six millimeter diameter. So I'm going to, we're going to mod the, uh, was this somebody who's asking about this thing? This is the Underdoom paint drift stone. Yeah. So we're going to mod this drift stone. This, this could be dangerous. I should probably do this with a drill press. press. Um... Yeah, because you—if that's a small thing, you have to hold on to. Hmm. You want to see how safe I get, though. Watch. Get. Nate would make a very entertaining serial killer. <laughs> uh, is there is there a link to buy the that caliper? Uh. It's. Or did you like get that in a store? Like it's like from Amazon, Nico. It's on it, Amazon. If you look up digital caliper, 
Um, C A L I P E R, I think. Oh, this is yeah, going to be tricky. Um, okay, where's the specific brand? I mean, there's other brands. There's fine. Like they're they're not very expensive. Either. Got it. Yeah, it's twenty two dollars. It's not. Yeah. It's better than I expected. I have like a fancier one at the office, which is. And Matter Matter about us has beat me to it, so never mind. Nice. All right, so I think this is. Uh, yeah. I don't know what this thing is called. It's like one of the. It's this cool, two way. Uh, I can slide like I put it in the vise and then I can slide it around to center it up in the drill press. It's like this thing's dynamite. I do have a little miniature. I have that little miniature drill press thing for my uh, for my Dremel, which I could maybe do, but that's too hard. I don't have it set up, so I'm gonna do this on the regular drill press. <laughs> oh no, no cloth to protect the paint. Yeah. Support dwarvenite torture chamber is what they're calling this. <laughs> uh, Tools is important. Apparently, magnets are N52 or N42, depending on which piece it is. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, Mr. Driftstone. I expect you to die. <laughs> uh, somebody might die. Let's see. You know the kind of money, Christo, right? Yeah. I met him once. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, he's great on the Sesame Street. Uh, 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 uh. He, um, oh, oh, oh. I always really liked the name Zatara. Like, that he, that he gets given, like, near the beginning when, like, he, uh, he washes up and they call him Zatara. And he's like, ah, oh, it's a really cool name. He's like, yeah, it means driftwood. <laughs> I think about, I think about that, like, almost every time I hear Driftstone. Is I think of Driftwood and then Zatara. All right, here's a question. Do you think I should try a 5.25 millimeter drill bit, which is 730 seconds? It's the the diameter of these new rods is six millimeters. Do I do the, I've got the 15 64ths, which is just under, it's, it's 5.96 millimeters or which is basically precisely the right, or do I do I do it a little tight at 5.25? I'm going with the five. I'm, just, I'm going, I'm, oh, it's even less. It's like 5.5. Let's do the slightly tighter one. I guess I can always make it bigger. I can't make it smaller. Hmm. Everybody's saying go tight. Yeah, right, because you can't, you can't go the other direction. You only go one way. All right. Yeah. I need. Hmm. Don't mind me. Now that I think about it, what would be the most convenient would probably be to just have like a rod that tapers into the original. Yeah, we side at the end. We talked about having a. Uh... I'll show you the it's actually a... the wyvern one. Oh. It's such a specific use, though. Well, I don't know. It's worth making the whole thing. Yeah. Actually, after I do this, I'm probably going to realize I didn't need to, but we'll just find I'll show you that in a sec. Nate, if we were limiting what you did tonight based on whether or not you needed to, the stream would have ended a while ago. Facts. Oh. There's the wyvern. Can you hear me? The wyvern, uh, the wyvern base actually tapers. I bet it would probably fit, but it's, it's more fun to try this. That's right, yeah, the wiper base tapers at the end, so it might fit, but first we'll do this. Yeah. We should we should test that. Should we just test that real quick first, just to see? Nope. I'm already okay. created. All right, he's already, already in, mind. He's already in the vice. He's, uh... Do you have a different drift zone we can test it with? Yeah. Okay. There's no reason for us not to know if we could know. <laughs> oh boy. Wonder how deep I should go. Man, if I had a nickel. Um Oh man, I was off by a nah. 
Not pretty. Did someone forget his safety goggles? Nope. Awesome. That I live by the, uh, the safety goggles. Yeah, that's not a very good... Man. It, uh... It split a little on the side. I didn't... I don't know if you can see the... The gouge right there. It's... But it's up. If you clean, let's see if it fits. This drift, this drift stone is now scattered terrain. Uh, Ooh, the tight is good. It's not going anywhere. Ooh. It worked? It fit? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it go wider. It's too tall. Yeah. Much better. You, know, you need, you need okay. to move that to... You need to replace the antenna on your, uh, on your car with this. Wait, do they still have those? Yeah, but no, they're cool. They look like uh, dragon fins now. They're like a little, uh, they don't have metal, like, you know, the telescoping things. Huh. That's alerts. Well, what about the split, though? What split? Who split? Wait a second. Where's the... All right, so here is, here's the moment of reckoning. So, uh, that's awesome. So the uh, the wyvern stand, uh, these fit, they fit on the top of the wyvern stand because it tapers to eighth inch diameter. Uh, so maybe I didn't need to drill that, but. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Is it organized strong enough that it doesn't matter? The split? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just make gives it character. I don't know if you can even see uh you can sort of see it, yeah. It's probably good for it to be a tight fit as well. Yeah. So what was the size of the drill bit you used? Seven thirty seconds. And safety okay. goggles. Important. I can't stress becomes, get, I can't stress safety becomes, enough. Safety. Can't can't stress safety enough. That's the you gotta you know. That's the Dwarven Forge guarantee. Well you know the riddle that Eli put in one of these adventures, the riddle was what comes what comes last? And then everybody answered, Well clearly safety. He's like, No, it's <laughs> supposed to be death. We're like, No, this is a Dwarven Forge riddle, clearly safety is the uh now we're a very safe uh we're surprisingly safe. Just look dangerous. Yeah. Tyler's entire job is... Well, not his entire job, but part of his job is... Safety march. Being in charge of the safety. Yeah. Oh, uh, are the rods and bases going to be a single piece? Does that mean each height from the stretch goals will have its own base? Um. What did we even sell? What do we... I We have... Yes, I think there were different. I think we have different height ones, but they're not. They don't taper. I, th I think there's different. I can't remember, honestly. I can't remember if there's multiple ones. I know there's multiple lengths of the 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 ones for sideways. I think there's th three different heights of these. Seriously, Tyler. eight wyvern bases for the old drift stones. Buy eight wyverns. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, that's it. Might be a nice a nice thing to make a pack out of. Hey, you know the other bonus is the wyvern stand also fits if you've modded your pieces. Um, actually, not as well because it's slightly thinner, huh? Would it be possible for us to sell the yeah just the wyvern stands? Yeah. Hmm. They're slightly uh. There's they're a different diameter than the these ones. Interestingly. But yeah, that would be enough. I know that we had different lengths for like how far you wanted them to be extended horizontally. I think we had three three heights, three heights and three horizontals. So I think so. Yeah, so we'll have we'll have three different these bases. Made these a are lot great. Of rods. Yeah, no, it's it's a staggering amount of rods. And this is this is nice and firm. I'm excited. All right, so I think. Uh, brings up a really good point. Uh, very for a very safe company. Uh, you know, we just talked earlier about how we mess with the smoke detector well there's there's still there's like there's there's multiple there's smoke detectors in all the other rooms of the place it's just that one kept going off so we had to, 
you know, and it wasn't a fire, right? It's like it's crying wolf. It's not a. It's it's very unsafe to have a safe smoke detector that's just pretending to be a fire. It's fair, I guess. Uh, a stand pack would be great because you know people will mod the length of their stands. Well. Let's see. Sounds like you just need a better smoke detector. No, it's too. It's too. Uh, it's like this super elaborate system that has all these parameters and it's um you know it's it's set to i don't know it's it's a highly aggressive remote and it just rings it rings directly at the, the fire department too or whatever like it's it's not a, yeah it's we shouldn't be in his building with a smoke detector like this it's... all right i think uh what time is it? Oh, yeah we should probably uh call it a thing did i did i did we were there any major fixes that people were kicked out that we didn't do? I we feel did like metal. We, got the we did major magnet. Ones. We did some surprise. Um, I think one of the things is it could be fun to just do some sort of I don't know if it would be an on the anvil or just some sort of stream or video uh, that is just about how to magnetize older oh, sets yeah. that don't have magnets on them. Yeah. That'd be fun to do. We could just follow Commerce Steven's guide for uh, the, for the sewers or something. Um, Yes. Cause, uh, for a lot of people, you know, the older sets before we started doing magnets, um, a lot of people are really, really like that it had magnets now. So once uh, you've gotten a taste of magnets, it's hard to um, it's hard to go back to not having magnets. Yeah. No. Yeah. The raffle for the LED light post. <laughs> do we forget about that? Do people really want to do it? Let's we'll do it. Let's do it right now. Let's roll for an LED post giveaway. Code word thirsty. Safety. Safety is the code word. Yeah. Wait, are we actually doing it? Yeah, let's just raffle it off. I'll right, sign let me, it right now, too. Let me put in the keyword. Hang on. It's not active yet. Okay, it's active now. Safety. If you want a chance to win that LED corner post, and only that LED corner post, this one corner post that's had some weird stuff done to it, Trying to know that it didn't work. I signed it too, and it's number one of one. You signed it. Nate loves spontaneous giveaways. He really does. It's become a problem sometimes. <laughs> it's a piece of history. It's the whole point of streaming. It's a gift of way. Uh, you can see it's one of one. Yeah. Seven, eight. All right. It's uh. No, I, I. It's 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 fun to uh. One of one. To share the. <laughs> it's a. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what I'm also gonna do for you, Who, whoever this winner is. Mm. This one with a uh, gift. We're gonna make this even more special. Some cat whiskers. Wait, what are you doing? Why'd you get a drill? I'm not giving away cat whiskers. Let's not get crazy. Free shipping to the old world. Oh yeah, are we doing outside of uh? US um, didn't, isn't there a reason we can't go outside the U.S.? It's like, I think there's like a legal thing, but it's also the thing of like, is anybody actually going to crack down on us about it? You if know? any legal authorities are watching, we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I Actually, a fair amount of our, a fair amount of the people that buy our stuff are lawyers, actually. We know that for a fact. Yeah. Huh. Well, don't arrest me. <laughs> what are you doing that's making it more special? Just making it more special. <laughs> I. Six is definitely going to win this one. <laughs> Wait, is six, is six, six here? Does six want to enter? Six, six is here. We should just give this one to six. For, <laughs> for, just give it to six. <laughs> six has never won anything. Add it to the building of the order. Unfortunately, you'd be shipping this from the office instead of uh, the warehouse, so we couldn't we couldn't include it with another order. Maybe not even from the office. Maybe just from Nate's house. We'll see. <laughs> Lawyers defend Dwarven Forge. We need you all to represent us. All right. When, when they crack down on us for giving away a single LED corner post internationally. So this is this is I I should have shown this one. You can if you pop a. Uh... 
you can pop a hole very easily in the top of these, a pull accessory hole, and then you can accessorize your uh, your posts, and they look super double extra cool. Oh, right? you put you put a you put a pull accessory hole in it? Yeah, you put a gargoyle in awesome. there. Yeah, that's, it, yeah, that's a really cool little mod. Yeah, and you can put anything you want on there. What's and the drill bit size for that? Uh, that's a of course it doesn't say. I should have used the Could other drill bit. Put a cat tail in there. <laughs> Good. Oh, the cat tails. About two millimeters, which is... We have to we have to include the cat tails with the cat whiskers. So it's 0.78 inches, or 0. 0.078 inches, which is oh wait, it's got to think five sixty fourths. Five sixty fourths is the drill bit size for pole accessories. Got it. I'll remember that forever. All right, let's roll this giveaway. Safety. See who. Safety. We've got thirty people that have submitted so far. <laughs> Who are these people? Yeah, this is good. Somebody's Definitely. getting one really weird quarter post. Dude, this is a this is a piece of this is a piece of art. All right. You know what someone go. else wanted? They wanted huh? someone in the comments from the build of the month wanted the wall that has the red paint splatter on it. Turns out I, I ended up splattering paint on a bunch of pieces, not just that one wall. That's fair. We did a blood. That was, that was a cool little cutaway though. Yeah. Wish we'd had time for more. I'm not getting that right. Uh, Ray and Selena. Ray did the Ray did the Ray did the lion's share, and Selena did uh, give notes and guided it into a good place. That was a really good video. Yeah, those guys. All right. Our, the video team works. They're just dynamite. Like really. Uh, All right, we're up to we're up to 35 entries. I'm gonna roll it now. All right. Safety post. Twitch James Austin. Woo. Which I assume is just James Austin, but then it's Twitch because it's your Twitch, and James Austin was probably already taken. Um, I guess we'll get your shipping address, and we'll send you this uh, this weird corner post. It's not weird. It's special. It's like it's special. Yes. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not giving you fresh batteries though. You're gonna have to live with whatever's in here. So. Yeah. Is there anything else we could do to make it special? Congratulations, Twitch James James Austin. Right. You, you got a piece of email because you want something during the anniversary week. Woo! Uh, so I'll just email you there to get uh, your shipping address, and we'll work that out. I'm actually jealous of this one. <laughs> this is probably the lowest like actual monetary value giveaway we've done. No, we but, gave like, away a foam mock-up. We did a foam mock-up. Yeah, a little while a um, foam mock-up from Hellscape, maybe. That had a, you know probably a cash value of like fifty cents. But it's, that's like a thing of like you could not get this anywhere else. It's one know? of a kind. It's a literally it was a mate you know a mock-up of a I think it was a lava piece mock-up whatever it was like one of a kind, like thing that it's that was highest... guided thing. Yeah, this is the best giveaway when it comes to like story and memory. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> The <laughs> sentimental value of this one. Yeah. Is, uh... Well, if we, anytime we, here's what we'll do. Anytime we do a, 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 an episode where we have to like cut up some pieces and stuff, like a modding, uh, so we'll have to give, uh, we'll have to give one away. We can make it a tradition. No, give away things that are dangerously dist uh, fixed. Ooh, give away the one by three. Yes, yeah, give away the one test shot we have of this piece. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give those away. Yeah. But this is from the, the personal, the Nate Taylor collection. This is, uh... All right. Outside of that, though, we need to make sure we need to get those on the restock list. Yeah. Uh, and and we need to call it a night because it is yeah. late. Thank you for joining us for another episode that just turned into a weird adventure. Because uh, they normally are so normal and quiet. Yeah. Yeah. And so we uh, we'll be back here next week with we don't know what the subject matter is next week, do we? Um, yeah. and we have a uh, hobby hang tomorrow night, which I don't know what the subject matter that is yet either. Uh, oh, yeah, Hamster said, oh, he told me what he's going to paint. I can't remember. Cool. Well, we'll just show up. We'll see what happens. 
thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. I hope we uh, showed you some safe ways to uh, fix your things if they weren't right. And the reality of our of dwarven is sometimes you have to do uh, sometimes you have to take matters in your own hands and, and fix things. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Good night. Well, uh, I'm waiting for the stream to shut off, but I'm like, I have to do this again. I'm you got like, it. I can't do it for you. I know. Chris, Chris, cut it. Cut the feed. Get the feed. I'm working on it. <laughs> I guess I can revoke your, your, your stream key or something. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you.